Hello friends, happy Friday and welcome to Getting Baked with Crystal. Who's ready to get baked? Half of your dishes are dirty. Are we talking about the ones that you left in the sink that you told me were not going to be visible on camera but I can see them now? We... Or the mixing bowl that I had to wash not two minutes ago because someone failed to wash it properly after I made cornbread. Right. Which, which are we talking about? I'm talking about the bowl to your mixer that had crud on the outside. Gotcha. Sorry, we didn't have any water today. No, this... I made cornbread Sunday, Dan. Monday? Yeah, but we didn't have Monday. any... We didn't have any water today. That has nothing to do with anything we're talking about. Sure it is. It's kind of like when your parents are out of town, you don't have to clean up until Sunday night. Like, this was the last opportunity to clean everything before there was water. Because there was no water today. My Cheeto fingers. How long are you going to use this excuse? I sent you a picture of Cheeto fingers. Ugh. And then I came home for lunch and you still had Cheeto fingers. It's because we had no water. What's happening here? It's the battle of Topo versus Kamiko. Always. Always. He can't let her alone. Hello, everybody. How yes. is everybody doing yes. today? Happy Super Friday. chat from Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Thank you for joining us tonight. And thank you for the support. Live from a kitchen somewhere in Lancaster. It's Friday night. Let's get baked. Uh, somebody in the chat said to, to lick the... Hit the lick, lick the thumbs up button. Uh, <laughs> lick the thumbs up yeah, button. Yeah, is that, is that advised? <laughs> One time at a job I had, um, the office that I worked in, um, everybody worked in the office, and I was the last one in there, so I texted my boss, like, hey, are you coming back or should I lock the door? And I put lick instead, and he never let me live that down. No? No. He, he's like, don't forget to lick the door when you leave. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs> you guys, we gotta get started. We got a lot going on tonight. We are making... Bailey's Irish Cream Brownies. I've got my Bailey's. I've got my brownies. You guys have asked for a brownie recipe, and I have not been able to come through because I don't make them from scratch. And it's... I wouldn't say it's embarrassing, but I'm not trying to brag about how I make brownies. I, I, this. This you is just, how I make brownies. You just click the next button? Um, I doctor it up a bit. Um, thank you, guys. The oven is on. I don't know if you just heard it. It did beep. It is preheated because we needed to get these into the oven. So Pillsbury milk chocolate family size brownie mix. It says it's for a 13 by 9 pan. I use a 9 by 9 because I like my brownies thick. Yeah. Yeah. All right. MFK. Uh, the Pillsbury Doughboy, Cap'n Crunch, or all three of the Rice Krispie guys at once. What are we talking about? <laughs> I missed your joke, Dan. Alicia with the super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the support. I uh, wish everybody a happy Friday. Yahoo. Happy Friday to you as well. Yahoo. I'm excited tonight because we are cooking with alcohol. And how right. can you not love cooking with alcohol? Yeah, your metachlorian levels rising My as what? we speak. Oh, you didn't watch Star Wars. No, I don't know what that means. What, do, right. you, what do you have for the alcohol over here? I've got Bailey's. Which is like a commodity these days. Oh my gosh. It's not cheap. It I've never not. purchased it. It's not something that I drink. My mom does. But she just always has it. She doesn't purchase it. So I was like, hey, you got some Baileys so I can borrow a little bit? And she she did not this time. So here we are buying an expensive-ass bottle of Baileys. But I will bring the rest to her. She did actually tag me on Facebook in a Baileys chocolate chip cookie recipe. So I may or may not whip that up tomorrow for her, too. We'll right. see how this turns out. But tonight, we are starting with box brownie mix. Okay. To our box of mix, we are adding two eggs, two-thirds cup oil, and a quarter cup of water. So let's start with our eggs, not separated by hand. How do you feel confidence-wise about this recipe? Uh, I've never made it, so I'm never 100% confident when I've never made a recipe. Uh -huh. But, I mean, I know how to make my brownies, so I'll make my brownies. And then uh, we'll see how the frosting bits turn out. I don't know. It's, it's just basically a frosting. Like, literally powdered sugar and Baileys and uh, butter. Okay. So, kind of like a buttercream frosting-ish. And then some ganache on the top. I am a little disappointed in you, Dan. Oh, no. In my size? In your in my si ability to accurately answer imperative questions that affect my recipe. Do tell. I needed semi-sweet chocolate chips for this. Right, and you had some. Yahoo! I saw them in the fridge. They were there. And I asked Dan, can you check the fridge and make sure we have semi-sweet chocolate chips? And he said, yes, you have a bag of them. They're Stater Brothers brand. I said, are they mini? And you said, no. Dan? It's hard because technically... What are these? Those are Stater Brothers versus semi-sweet chocolate chips. Are they mini? It says that, but that could be the person's name. Are they mini? <laughs> Order in the court. 
<laughs> there are many. 99.99% of the time repeating, I send you pictures anyway, and I didn't. I'm like, yeah, they're there. You failed me. I was going out the so, door. I am not confident in the fact that the ganache will turn out perfectly because we have mini chocolate chips. But we're melting it, so hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. Oh my gosh, you're melting it anyway? Why didn't I buy you syrup? <laughs> that's, that's not how this works, Dan. It's not what we're doing here. Uh, Christopher Friend with a super chat finally paid off my Wrangler. Congratulations. Yahoo. I just paid off my car last month. You did, huh? What a great feeling. Um, I own it. Now I'm ready for it to break down because that's how it goes, right? Right? I got right. the title last week. It is officially mine. I own it. No more payments. Uh, only 354,000 miles on it. That's nice. a lot. That's a lot of miles. Uh, trying to stay awake for the stream tonight and waiting for our foot of snow this weekend. Oh my gosh. Good luck to you. Is that a normal thing? Where you? I mean, it has to be for a foot. You don't just get a foot out of nowhere, but oh Lord, I couldn't do it. Uh, Chris says, Crystal is disappointed in Dan's size. Poor Dan. It isn't the size. I neither confirmed nor denied anything about that. That was Dan's suggestion. So maybe Dan's disappointed in his size. I'm disappointed in his ability to confirm whether the chocolate chips are mini or not. I will never trust you again I thought when it the comes to chocolate chips. chocolate chips were growers. Uh, Perfected39 says, hi guys, hello. Hello, Kathy. Alex says, uh, Dan, plead the fifth. I, I plead the fifth. I do. There's no pleading the fifth. I, the facts are right here. Right here. They are mini. You said they were not. We were even at the store, and I said, are you sure they weren't mini? Because I knew I had mini ones. I was 100% sure there were mini ones. I was sure that you had... I was sure that we had chocolate chocolate chips. Yeah, well, you were wrong. Super chat from Helen. Thank you so Hi, much, friends. Says, Hi, Dan and Crystal and Hello. all in the chat. Sitting, watching, and eating popcorn. Fun. Uh, Libby's Cave suggests I send you to the store. So did I. I volunteered to go to the store. I volunteered to go to the store, but you're like, no, it's okay. I'll just fine, Dan. I'll, I'll make it work. I'll just fine. I'll just chop fine. you up on the stream. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't have anything to talk about otherwise. Uh, what else here? <laughs> yes, Chris, I am disappointed in Dan's ability to assess the I mean, size. There that wasn't is a banana or a quarter for reference. I don't have like a, a, a control of how big these are supposed to be in the first place. Here's they the say thing. mini on the package. Oh, you did uh, not have to judge the size. You had to read like, the package. There's different sizes, right? There's like the one that you give to your teacher that are huge. You know, that's what I used to bring to my teacher when big old. The Hershey Kiss? That's yeah. not even the same thing, Dan. And then there's the ones that you get like that are normal. Like that ring the bell. Ding, 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 Still Hershey ding. Kisses, not chocolate We're, chips. Right, but like those are, that's the size. And then there's those little mini ones. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. You are saying this like you have not lived with a baking person for over 17 years. Dan, you're full of flimsy excuses and I'm not buying <laughs> They're it. They're flimsy. They're flimsy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> did you just snort? <laughs> What's more embarrassing, hiccuping on camera or snorting on camera? Um, hiccuping on camera. Really? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah, hiccuping Weird. On, on camera. How does Crystal not have chocolate chips? She's got a drawer full of them. I do, but I don't use semi-sweet. So I, I have some, but I don't stock up on semi-sweet. Which is why I relied on Dan. I should know better. I really should. Super chat from PJ. Up, Thank PJ? you so much, friend, for the support. By the way, if you guys have not heard, I know you guys know about PJ's vlog channel, and you know about uh, Ignition 1991. And the, it, what's the other one called? It's... Oh, PJ and Friends. PJ and Friends? I don't think that's what it's called. <laughs> I think you're making things up. He's got two channels. PJ, let me know what the other one's called, because I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, he is now on Patreon, so if you guys want more PJ than the PJ you're already getting, and you do... Go check it out. He did make a post in the RFS family group on Facebook. Awesome. Make sure you go check that out. He's got multiple tiers on there, so uh, you can support him as well. He did say words. He did. I'm getting there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Dan. Is this going to be, is this the type of night it's going to be? Is this what's happening? Oh, I'm drinking tonight? later, so it's going to ramp up. Don't you worry. Oh, no. Uh, PJ says, hello from South Haven, Michigan. Still in Michigan? Got to see my niece, Ada, today. She vlogged with my phone. Always fun when a one-and-a-half-year-old vlogs. Um, you just get that lower perspective. Yeah. That keeps me on. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So you just want to mix this till the chunks are gone. You will see it is still pretty darn thick. I do not like it pretty darn 
thick. I like my brownies thick. I don't like my batter thick. So I always put a little splash of milk in here. A big splash of milk. While I'm stirring this up, we got another super, super chat from BRM Bug. Thank you so much, friend, for the support. No baking along for me tonight. Oh, I thought you were making Texas sheet cake. I'm still in the country, but my kitchen is in shambles. Tried to replace the water damaged counter slash sink and ruin my new countertop. Tried to install it. Oh, friend, I am so sorry. No. How disappointing. When uh, our kitchen got redone and they installed our new counter, and it's just the, the laminate stuff, when they... When they installed the dishwasher, they put a screw from underneath and it poked through the counter. I was unhappy. Also, they cut the counter like on, you know, oh, you can't, it's too hard to see from here. When they or, cut the, the hole for the sink. Yeah, there's two little lines. That yes, like they long. cut too far and yeah, it irritates the heck out of me. Yes, yes. Freaking Chad. And look out for your uh, gold mag in the mail next week. Oh, yeah? Did you get that out yet? Um, no. That's why I tried to... <laughs> Look out thanks, for it thanks, next week. Thanks for getting me on that. <laughs> getting my back on that. <laughs> um, my last week of adventure says, when in doubt, just buy more. I know, and I, I totally would. would have if it was anything else, but I really don't use semi-sweet chocolate chips I, on hardly anything. I was just supposed to get more. No, you were supposed to look and see <laughs> if I needed more. <laughs> you even went to the store yesterday. Yeah. My dad can't read either. Can't tell how many times he got. I got. I got creamed corn by mistake. Oh, gross! Oh my gosh! All right, so pretty creamy here. We are good. I'm just gonna shake everything off of here because then I'm gonna grab a rubber spatula and stir some chocolate chips into here. Not many semi-sweet chocolate chips. We are going to use. I found Hershey's chocolate chips on sale, on clearance at the store. So we are gonna use some of these. Which, by the way, can we talk about hot chocolate for a minute? Who right. sent us the fancy hot chocolate? I can't remember. I'm drawing a blank. I'm not going to be able to get it out without taking everything out. I think it, This was a recent one. Maybe Nancy? I think it came from Nancy. Uh, the Ghirardelli hot chocolate. You guys, this is a game changer. I always buy the cheap stuff because, like, it's cocoa powder pretty much. What's the difference? Uh uh. This that's, tastes like a damn candy bar. That stuff's really good. I highly recommend you guys get this for your hot chocolate. It is worth spending whatever the price difference is because I'm sure it's more expensive than the cheap little Swiss Miss box. This is the business. Uh, Chris says hot chocolate PSA. or hot loving? Both. <laughs> You'll be loving that hot chocolate. All right, let's get some chocolate chips up in here. Super chat here from Brady. Stop moving my things. <laughs> uh, Brittany suggesting that you wear your glasses when you read. Problem solved. They're uh, they're holding. Yeah, my you're hair wearing up. them as a fashion accessory. That's not helping you to distinguish mini from non mini. That's hot. <laughs> Thank you, Brittany. Appreciate the support. Because it takes a village to raise a Dan. So, I don't know, I just wing it, like, this many chocolate chips. And some for me. Sorry, I can't talk, I have chocolate chips in my mouth. Oh, um, yeah, you'd be able to talk more if they were bigger size, right? These are the big ones, because I knew I had these. Uh, you have not earned any chocolate chips. Nope. I stand by my convictions. Uh, the Gaming Ham, welcome to the RFS fam. Thank you so much for your membership support. With that, your name turns green when you chat. You get a little Mohawk Dan head next to your name. You get access to all the fun emojis with Dan's head. Is there a Dan's head one? And who cares? Blake's head, little cartoon me's, little uh, images of our cats in there. So you get uh, exclusive access to that only for members. You also get exclusive members only early access to our vlogs thank you so much Ooh, we do have that. one coming out in a few days we do we do how how many is a few days what's your timeline dan probably <laughs> oh shit but now can you, you commit to that with like, any sort of confidence like probably early next week okay i 
super chat from Amanda. Thank you so much, friend. And hello, thank you for joining us. Brownies in the oven for 45 minutes. We'll wait. Stop it. Dan's moving the chat up and down while I'm trying to read it. <laughs> We're going to fight tonight, you guys. I'm going to get some alcohol in me. We're going to wrestle right here on the ground. Yes. I'll move the camera so you guys can see it. Sounds like an episode of Cops. Place your bets now. Place your bets. <laughs> you know who's going to win. The one who had a little brother. Uh, we'll wait for the next steps. I will need to make AJ a different batch without Bailey's. Yeah, probably. Um, maybe cut some brownies out. I don't know how liquidy the frosting is going to be. I don't know if you can cut some out of it. for. Oh, sorry. This is not a kid-friendly recipe. Yes, Alec, Dan is basically my sixth cat slash second kid. I always say I'm, I just live with two children. <laughs> how do you put that on the tree? <laughs> a lot of times, uh, Blake is a lot more logical, reasonable, and responsible than you are. What does that say, Dan? Oof. Oof. <laughs> yes. Uh, Hannah says, hey, Crystal, how is the apple pie soap? Still sitting on my nightstand so I can smell it in all its glory all the time. <laughs> I will use it, but first I'm going to smell all the smells out of it. All right, we've caught up on the chat. So I'm going to let everybody retype everything that didn't get said from Beer, earlier I'm up there. I'm going to want to know if I have a frying pan to hit you upside the head with. I have got a cast <laughs> iron pan. <laughs> a pan of the juice of a thousand meats. The best for smacking your Dan upside the head. What? <laughs> Does this imply that everybody has a Dan? Um... Many people have their own version of Dan. Mine happens to be named Dan. You may have your own that still needs whacking upside the head. I highly recommend cast iron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what we're talking about, but Sally M is with me. And for that, I love you, friend. All right, sprayed my pan, pouring the brownies in. We are already at almost 620 here. Let's get these into the oven. These are going to need to cool completely before we can put the frosting on them. So as soon as we get these in the oven, we can uh, make some drinks. You're so quiet now, Dan. No, I... I, 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 I what? Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow, Crystal! Look at you go tonight! Wow! I've got your number. Yeah! <laughs> wow! Crystal, everybody! Whew! And I haven't even drank yet. In fuego. So you're in for it. In fuego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mom's here. Hey, kiddos. Looks yummy. Hi, mom. I love you. Uh -huh. All right. In the oven, I have a 9x9 nine nine inch pan. I like this recipe because... It tells oh, you. Right when I change the camera. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> it tells you if you want them thick, use a 13 by 9 pan. If you want them thicker, use a 9 by 9. If you want them the thickest, use an 8 by 8 pan. I don't have an 8 by 8. So we're 9 by 9 in it. 30 to 35 minutes. Oh my gosh, Crystal. Oh my gosh, Dan. All right, so when I make these, I do undercook them just a little bit. You don't want them fully liquidy in the middle, but if you want them to still be soft a few days from now, Undercook them just a little bit. What are you doing? Stop. I'm trying to hide the cord. <laughs> You're drawing attention to it. Just keep talking. No one saw anything. <laughs> uh, shouldn't the chips be carob? No, because we don't have dogs and we're not feeding this to our pets. So we're carobs good. is one of the biggest lies in the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Sir Mix-a-Lot should go with the 7x7 seven seven pan. Why, yes, he should. All right, guys. Let's have some fun. Uh, which is here, which is, uh, you can see him, he's curled yeah, up. Yeah, he's here. there, uh, out, face planted into the pillow. I've been looking for a new cat bed for him, and it's really hard. <laughs> I'm going shopping this weekend, so I'm hoping I can find one, but they're all too big, or they're not the right kind of material, or something. Cake mix box got yeeted in my face. Don't mess with me tonight, Dan. <laughs> <Is that it? laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, so here we go. I've got this on my phone. I screenshotted it, so. Yeah? Let's uh -oh. see. Okay, so here's the deal. Last night, I was searching, because I don't know what you make with Bailey's. My mom puts it in her can coffee. We, can we taste it? Like, can we yes, taste the Bailey's? Yes, I will allow you to taste it. Um, my mom just puts it in coffee. She likes Bailey's in her coffee. Um, notoriously, Christmas Eve, we used to always go to um, our family friend Jean's house, and at the end of the night, coffee would be made, the Bailey's would come out. That's what my mom likes to drink her Bailey's. I don't like coffee. So I'm not putting it in coffee. So I started searching. What can I make with Bailey's? What are Bailey's drinks? Like, what do you do with it? I don't know. I don't drink this stuff. 
And the only thing I found was a white Russian, which apparently is traditionally made with Kahlua, but you can also add Baileys to it to kind of mix it up a little bit. And then, just before I was leaving work, what are you laughing about? Amanda. Just, I just... Oh, Chris gave me the recipe for that, but I was missing the other ingredient. You can apparently use it to I make buttery them. nipple shots. They're low, but I have some. <laughs> well, I'm good. Brittany puts Baileys in her hot cocoa. There we go. Tristan says, what up, buttercups? Nothing much, friend. Just getting ready to drink. Yep, uh, Jess agrees. Hot chocolate. Just add it to hot the chocolate. The best hot chocolate. <laughs> the best hot chocolate? I feel that if Jess drinks hot chocolate, it's a Michigan-based hot chocolate. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Thank you, Alec. Yes, nobody told me. Uh, Afriel says never ever put it in a soda stream. Sounds like there's oh a story gosh. behind you that. Right? <laughs> Could we have more? So, as I was getting ready to leave today, my boss, who's working from home, stopped by the office. Somehow, aside from what we're doing tonight, we started talking about alcohol drinks and stuff. Yes. And then my mom brought up... Dan's watching hockey, guys. Apparently the Penguins just scored. So, my mom brought up that I was making this tonight. He's like, oh, you can make mudslides. And I was like, hold on. I love mudslides. Never occurred to me that it was Bailey's. Didn't come up in my Pinterest search. Have we, where we had mudslides from? A can? Wasn't there a little... We did buy them from... I think it was Little Bottles. Um, I think they looked similar to this, but it was small. Um, I have drink them in public as well. But yes, we were going to do White Russians, but they weren't really going to be White Russians because they were going to have Baileys in it, which is basically just a mudslide with slightly different proportions. So why don't we just make some mudslides, Dan? I got my fancy Baileys cups because this is how much my mom drinks Baileys, that she had too many Baileys cups and gave me some. So we've got that. We are going to, it says, if desired, spread the chocolate sauce on a plate and carefully dip the cocktail glass rim. So we're going to do that. I don't know if I can open this. Tristan got smacked down by the word filter. Yes. Uh, but she says, the buttery nipples are delicious. I See, I've never heard of it before. You having trouble there, too? It'll go. It's one of those things where it moves and it takes yeah. a long time to move. There you go. Sticky. Yeah. Do you have Kahlua? I do. I texted my mom at 9 o'clock last night and asked her if she had some Kahlua because I knew that she got some from our Christmas party. That was her alcohol bottle of choice. And she said, oh, a tiny little bit. It's full up to here. That should be plenty. I hope it's good. Does it go bad? No. I think I'm going to have to microwave this for a minute. It's a little thick. Steve's here. Is there a Canadian uh, white Russian? Maybe it's called. Maybe you put some maple syrup in it. It's called like a, <laughs> a red Canuck or something. Probably. I would not be surprised. Ouch. Uh, I saw somebody. It went past off the screen, but somebody was asking uh, how Miss Kitty is doing. She's doing great. She's been out every single night since the first night she came out. So we are making some progress. She's crashed out on the bed right now. But yes. once we're done on the couch, she'll be back out there. I uh, guess we do have Kahlua, and <laughs> Kahlua is a coffee liqueur, li liqueur, liqueur. liqueur. Um, Lily wants to know, what is a mudslide? Is that a dessert like a pie? No, it is an alcohol drink, and it's chocolatey and kind of coffee-ish and delicious. Yes, and vodka. I got it, Jess. I, I found the recipe. I am on this. I didn't know, Jess, I didn't know it was vodka in there until just a little bit ago. Yeah, neither did I until I was searching stuff. Yeah, I didn't know it was vodka. My boss is all snooty, and he's like, you have to use the right vodka. I'm like, why do you have to use the right vodka? And he's like, oh, because if you use the cheap stuff, it'll curdle your Baileys. <laughs> I said, is Tito's okay? He said, yes, it is. No, but we have Caesars. What's the, what's that? What kind of drink is that? Dr. Detroit Stream Show for the Super Jet. Thank you so much. Dan is a ganatz but away from being yeeted out. A what? A ganatz. What? Look, the guy paid for every 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 syllable, right? Oh, okay, I see. Right? That's that's your excuse, huh? Yeah. Can you grab me the Tito's? When he just disputes his credit card and was like, I didn't get all I paid for, <laughs> they can replay that back and see that the silent G. You're too much. Can you grab the Tito's, please? Are you going with the Tito's? I am, because I don't know if the other stuff I have will curdle my Baileys. Ew. Right? <laughs> you don't want to curdle a Bailey. Steve says that a Caesar is a magical drink. Thank you, sir. All right. Oh, my hockey team's about to win. I need this. 
So we got some chocolate on the rim. We're gonna let that sit while we mix the drink. Were we gonna try to taste a little bit of it? We can do that when I open it. Patience, Dan. <laughs> Dr. Detroit to yourself says, damn it, Dan, LOL, yep, not gonna <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually had chocolate on the rim when I ordered it. <laughs> Stop. I had about enough of your dantics. What? I've been playing defense the whole night. Says you. All right. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Where's the rest of my recipe? Here? Everybody's going to think it's like a Bloody Mary, but it's not. Bloody Marys are gross. Bloody Marys are oh, gross. so gross. Terry swears this one at her restaurant made with garlic vodka is amazing. <laughs> oh, no. I cannot even imagine a garlic vodka. Hannah with the false facts. Dan has no patience. This much I've learned. I feel like I have infinite patience. Like, I feel like I have, like, so much patience. No way. You're a now, now, now kind of person. Well, I mean, I feel like... Jason says, should have made the drink, then put the chocolate on the rim. Jason, that would have dumped the whole drink out. Come on. Come on now. Okay, so... What we need to do is to put our vodka, Kahlua, Baileys, and heavy cream in a cocktail shaker, add two handfuls of ice, and shake until cold. So we are going to start with my fancy little thing that Tristan sent me, an ounce of vodka. I think Melissa sent you that. Was it Melissa? Yes. Oh, you're right. Can you retcon that? That Melissa sent us. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Okay. No, nope, this one. One and a half ounces of Irish cream. Don't worry, Dan. Do you have to shake it first? Wait, don't do it if Seems you don't have like to. Seems like a good idea. Yeah. That's, that's... I don't want to make it, like, foamy. That's wibble wall. That's, like, teeter-tottering. That's <laughs> not mixing. That's... You're going to get the drink seasick. Do you want to smell it? Yeah. Get over here. It's not like you've never been on camera. It smells like a many things. Like many things? Oh, my gosh. My team just scored again. One ounce of the Kahlua. And one and a half ounces of heavy cream. I don't know if I have enough to do that. We might have to use milk. Let me see. I need two tablespoons for my recipe. Oh, you ration in it? Yeah, but I think you can use milk instead. That's what my mom told me about the uh, white Russians. <laughs> Anna says, that's a lot of alcohol, even by my standards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll find out. Let me Google if I can use milk for a mudslide. I have heavy cream, but I need two tablespoons. So what was it? One and a half ounces of heavy cream.
think we're good. I think there's even enough to make another one. Because I guess I gotta let Dan have some. How's that going over there? It's going good. I just dumped my heavy cream in. I did have enough. It's not curdling. I'm making a mess. And two handfuls of ice. My hands are pretty small. Pop this on and this. And then shake it. Hey, remember what John Patrick up here with a smile? Yes, there you go. Is that how it's done? That's how, that's how it's done up our rescue. Feels like there's not a lot of liquid in here, but we'll see when we pour it into here. You make the full one for you, and I'll have what's left over. No, this is one. I will make another one for you. My shaker was not big enough to make two. I think that's a decent sized drink. That looks fun. Okay. I'm trying to get every last drop out. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna make another one for you before I taste it. Why? Go for it. No way! Do, I, do you want to be like Cocktail, like Tom Cruise? Do you want me to play Kokomo for you? I do not. Shaking the drink in ice dilutes it. Stirring the drink leaves it stronger. It's said to shake it. I'm following the instructions. And come on, there's a lot of alcohol in here. According to Hannah's standards. Yeah, well, who drinks four locos on the road? <laughs> and Dora says, I only seem to drink during these lives. Me too. <laughs> I think that's okay. My hockey team won, we did it. Alex says, I assure you, you don't need more than that. It's like a dessert. <laughs> oh, I know. But I like it. You know how I feel about sweets. Okay, let's do this, Dan. Sorry, I forgot to rinse this out. I'm sorry, you said your hockey team won? Yeah, we Hooray! did it. We did it. So we get happy Dan tonight? Can you turn the camera down a bit so we can see Mr. Mooch? Why would you not use the same ice and why wash the cup? You're making the same drink. Do not judge the way that I do things. You know I'm not quite right. You know this, Jason. Okay. An ounce of vodka. Mm -hmm. We'll just leave this out. Oh no. An ounce of Kahlua. The chat's blurry for me, but I can make out Steve saying, Dan is the people's champion. He's the people's <laughs> champion. I'll take it. Oh my gosh. I'll take it. If it's good enough for the rock, it's good enough for me. <laughs> and one and a half ounces of Bailey's. And one and a half ounces of heavy cream. It also says you can use two scoops of vanilla ice cream and a half a cup of ice instead of the cream. Just, you know, for future milkshake recipes. Right. You remember that fact for me. <laughs> I will. One slide milkshake. I'm in. Okay, do you want to taste the Bailey's? Um, I'll just taste it with the drink. It's fine. But you wanted to taste the Bailey's. Uh, super chat from Jess T. Thank you so much for the support, friend, and thank you for being here. Hey, Dan. Yeah. How many Irish men does it take to change a light bulb? Uh, I don't know, Crystal. How many Irish men does it take to change a light bulb? This is a good one. Two. Okay. 
one to hold the bulb. Right. And one to drink until the room starts spinning. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, that is a good one. I have not heard that one. Good job. Steve says, as an Irishman myself, I can confirm. Are you Canadian or Irish? <laughs> which, which one are you? Uh, F. Vance wants to know, by the way, what does RFS stand for? It stands for Random Friend Squad. If you go on YouTube later, we're, we're, we're entertaining you right now. Later, go to YouTube and check out Random Friend Squad channel. Mm-hmm. It was Dan, my brother Jason... I participated here and there. Our friend Mike, our friend Bud, and an assortment of people who would rotate through for the fifth day. And every week, each one of them would put out one video on the same topic. And there was some really, really good stuff there. That so was fun. that's where it started, was Random Friend Squad. And then Dan became RFS Dan. Jason became RFS J. And the RFS just kind of stuck. And it's really kind of applicable because we're just kind of a squad of random friends here yeah. now. So this, it works. This channel started because I wanted a place to put everything I had ever done. And then it quickly turned into a vlog channel. And then it just kind of turned into this from there. Am I supposed to be trying? Am I supposed to be trying? Yes, this? try it and let us know what do you think. Okay. I don't really think it's something you drink straight, but here we are. Is how it's done, Dan? Ooh, I like this. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's fun. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's fun. Maybe my mom's not taking a bottle. <laughs> oh, Brittany, uh, talking about when you got your legs waxed by me and the little baby Blake. That's right. That was the worst leg waxing kid ever. <laughs> it was bad. It was really bad. Uh, thank you, Steve, for sharing the Random Friend Squad link. It is there. Make sure you guys check that out. Random Family Squad at this point, Hannah says. Yeah, I agree. I still have a handful of old Random Friend Squad stickers. Yeah, we made those way back in the day. I, I know, right? All right, Dan. Watch out. That's going to be sticky. I don't think we can really cheers because it's sticky, but. Cheers. All right, I'll come in here. <laughs> Doris wants to know why you're being shy today. I don't know. Because <laughs> he's I was, just staying. I was just staying off stream. Yes, uh, Dr. Like, Detroit suggesting you rewind the stream and play it on two times speed during the shaking and you'll get some good laughs. Great, you get Chris talking twice as fast. <laughs> I'm liking the chocolate on the rim. This is fun. It is. Mm-hmm. I like this. I approve. Good recipe. It's dangerously delicious. Yeah, it leaves some leaves leaves chocolate on on, on, on your lips. On the corners of your mouth. Right. A little bit. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Brittany says, I want an RFS sticker. Jason says you look like an emo kid. I feel fat, so I'm trying to like like not turn sideways. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trick. I put on a zipper. I put on a zipper hood. Yet you were trying to talk me into pizza for dinner tonight. It's cool, but I have one free pizza from Domino's. Jess wants to know if you're pretending to be Wilson today. I was. He used to come out after the show when they wave high and he had a little... I remember that. He had that little fence yes. there. Yes, he did. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm sorry. The chat's so blurry. Put your damn glasses on. This is pretty good. It is very good. Dangerously good. Helen, with a super, super, super chat. Thank you so much, friend. We Hi, love Helen. you. Just come back in from the backyard where hubby and son are putting a bike shed together, uh, followed by angry emojis. <laughs> There's a lot of cursing going on, but I'm laughing, so I had to leave them to it. Can I get like, <laughs> can I get a quick video like sent to my direct messages uh, of like what's going on outside, please? I, I would love that. The lid just popped off of that and into my heavy cream. It did. It did. <laughs> that was odd and it interesting. Did. Uh, Steve said I had chicken parm for dinner. Are you Dude, practicing that being Australian? Chicken parm's never been said more. Then all these Australian shows that we've been watching where all they wanted to talk about is chicken parm. Yeah, apparently those Australians really love some chicken parm. Mm, that is really, that is really, really good. Uh, Jess said it's a sipping drink. You need to savor it. 
Uh, oh yeah. Oh, it's, it, it's got three kinds of alcohol in it. Yeah. All right, you let me know when I can take another sip. <laughs> just, just put like sip Dan. I'll be like. Mm-hmm. Uh, Steve wants to know: Did we talk about wheels versus doors yet? So, Steve, who has a podcast with Camille called Sidecast, um, yes. you should post a link in the chat so everybody knows. I think most people know, so everybody can know. Is um, brought it up today in the group chat, and I did see a couple TikToks, but I was like, whatever, and I scrolled by. I think it's just a plain question. Uh, what do you think there's more of in the world? Uh, wheels or doors? Ah, that's a good question. Right. So all four-door cars cancel each other out, except for some have spares in the trunk. Right. You're screwed yeah. with two doors. I've got, I've got five wheels. What is a door? What is a cave? What is a flap? Like, what does it become Okay, a door? so we're not talking doorways. We're talking about a door that closes for the sake of privacy? I don't know, because... Do pocket doors count? The problem is, is the answer is tires. But I'm really trying hard to justify the doors. But houses have a lot of doors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do closet doors count? It's, Seven. It is. It's the word doors eight. in it. There's these okay, ones. we have eight regular doors in this house alone, right. plus the closet doors. Plus cabinets. Plus. Oh, these are doors too. So is the door to the oven. So is the door to the dishwasher. The door to my heart. <laughs> Shut the, your mouth. The, the, the closet doors. So there's a lot of doors. Uh, Afriel pointing out that sliding glass doors have wheels in them. So they just can't, they just, they just cancel each other out. So like there's only. No, they add, there's more wheels than doors on a sliding glass door. Okay, that's fair. Okay. So some of them, some of them do. So. We're going to need to take a poll because like when, when you hear like 90% of Americans agree, they didn't poll every single American. They did, you know, a sample size. So we may need to put out a poll and have everybody. No, no, no. What I want to know is how many doors and wheels exist in your world? In your house, your car, your bike? We can't do them here. I understand that. I'm not talking about here. Lego wheels, Hot Wheels, kids toys with wheels. Jess has got a good point. Rollerblades, dryers have doors too, and they have wheels when you open them up. Oh my gosh. But what's a door? Is all these records, like the flaps or doors for your record? Think what's about office buildings. What about all the chairs and carts versus doors? There's definitely more wheels in my office than doors. There's quite a few doors, but everybody has a drawer? chair with four to five wheels on it. What's a, what's a drawer? It's a dwarf, dwarf door, right? That's right, but point. inside each of these ten drawers on my bookshelf, each of them has a wheel on each side. Two wheels, one on the top and one on the bottom for the drawer mechanism. Hannah says, ugh, that would take too much thinking. <laughs> a flap isn't a door. Okay, I concur. Why not? It's the, if it keeps, if it, if, 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 if it keeps, if it, if it divides a thing. Jess says a drawer is not a door, it's a drawer. Well, it's hard to say drawer and door in the same sentence. <laughs> a drawer is a small door. I need Jess. you to go up because we had a super chat. Jess, is this how we go out? <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Dan, are there more wheels oh, or drawers? Sh- you gave two options and a yes or no answer. <laughs> Sorry, I blew it. <laughs> Try again. While Dan figures that out, Christina with a super, super, super chat. Thank, thank you, you so much, much for the support. Thank Thanks you, for thank hanging you. out with us tonight. <laughs> Says hi, everyone. Love your hair, Uncle Danny. Those Thanks. drinks look fire, Crystal. Love you guys. They are really good. They it are. never occurred to me that I could make a mudslide. Like, there's things that you only get when you go places. And sometimes you just don't think, like, I can make that at home. I could totally make that. I made tequila sunrises. I think, were you guys here, Christina? I think your family might have been here when we made tequila sunrises. I was not impressed with how those turned out. I will stick to the bar for those. Not that I go to the bar. Um, We made Dirty Shirley's, Shirley Temples with alcohol. Those were amazing. This is amazing. I may have to start stocking uh, Bailey's heavy cream and uh, Kahlua in my house to make mudslides. Thank you so much Thank for you. the super chat. Really appreciate it, Christina. I hope you're doing well. Happy Friday. How do I like it? There we go. There we go. Answer in the poll. Before you do, take a look around your house. Think about your car. The, all the cars in your household, the bikes, the roller skates, roller blades, whatever you have that has wheels. Do some quick mental math. Doesn't have to be accurate. But figure out mathematically based on your household and those around you, lawnmowers have wheels. I think there might be more wheels. Yeah, but see, then Steve has like 10 lawnmowers. <laughs> 10? How many lawns do you have? What did Jess, Jess said? Like I said earlier, if you say flap is a door, then anything that I can roll becomes a wheel. Oh, shit. Valid point. I wouldn't call a flap a door, but like when we worked, when I worked at the print shop and we worked at Cubesmith, we had roll up like warehouse doors. I would call that a door because you open that to get things in. 
It's a garage door door? And what is a wheel? Because there was a big wheel that ran belts that smashed the machine, right? I'm really trying hard to figure out how to be on Dora's side is my problem. That's that's my problem. I really want I really want it to be on Dora's side. Steve passionately sent money <laughs> to Team Wheels. Thank you for the super chat, dude, but wow, bro. <laughs> that was a grip of money for uh, Team Jess Wheels. Jess also on Team Wheels. I'm thinking Wheels. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. Oh my I, gosh. I think it might be Wheels. Do steering wheels count as wheels? Ooh. I mean, but what's a wheel? Cause I don't think and... so, because that's a mechanism that gets to the, like... What's, is it drive shaft, drive train? To the love, to the love shack. <laughs> the, the, the steering gears, wheel gets to the love shack that's a wheel. to make the wheels turn. So I think that's more of a gear. I don't think I would call a gear a wheel. It's a gear. Do wheels in this instance have to move something? Not like stationary. Wheels, in my opinion, would, would propel you forward. Propel you forward. Okay. Uh, Chris true? says Dan is adorable. <laughs> you know, Chris, you're just winning your way into my heart. It's almost Valentine's Day. Oh, wait, that's uh, Just as a roll-up door is literally called a roll-up door. Right, but it doesn't open in the traditional sense of a door that opens with, you know, a door handle. But like, these ones had chains, you had to move through a gear, but then it moved a door. But that the big pulley wheel up there that spun around that I had to pull the chains on was a wheel. But That it, was a gear. But it propelled the Or a, door what's forward. the other thing, a pulley? Is that what I'm thinking of? Like, uh, Hannah says she needs to be teams. high for this. <laughs> I agree with Hannah. Uh, Hannah with the super chat is on Team Wheels. Let's team see. Wheels. We've, we've got some votes, but I'm not checking those yet. Teresa says wheels. Brittany says door. Sally says wheels. Teresa says it's snowing. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know what like, that's like. <laughs> uh, what about gaming systems for wheels when you put in a CD game? Hmm. I'm confused about the question there. We need it to not be a round object. We need it to be something that po propels you forward. Propels you forward. Yes, I think there has to be propulsion. <laughs> a pulley isn't a wheel. It's a pulley. But what if it's a pulley wheel? No, it's a pulley. Uh -huh. uh, Amanda has 27 doors and 50 wheels just in the kitchen. 50 wheels in your kitchen? I would like to what? think the hundred. I need to know more about the wheels in your kitchen. Are we talking about? Wait, are we talking about the wheels on the drawers? Because look. <laughs> Don't mind me. It propels the each drawer one forward. Of, each one of these, there's four of these on every single drawer. But that's here. a door for the drawer. That's not a door. That's, that's, a, that's drawer, a drawer door. That's, that's a, a drawer, drawer face. A no. Can you say drawer three times fast? No, I can't. I can barely say it once anymore. It's a drawer door. Thank you to the 107 people that are here watching this debate, <laughs> whether it's a door or a window or not. Uh, BRM Books says, my garage door is a roll-up door with a handle and like 10 wheels. See, there we go. Wagons, wheelbarrows, quads, they have wheels. Uh, Afriel loves us and is laughing so hard they snorted. <laughs> so oh, did Dan. Don't be embarrassed. Yeah, welcome to the Snort Club. Uh, Christina with another super chat. Thank you so <laughs> yes, much. Hi, Love thank you. you. Uh, says, yes, I remember when we made the uh, Tequila Sunrises. Not that great. Also, they were not that great. Can you read the rest of that? Also, for Xmas, my friend crushed up candy canes and used honey on the rim and dipped it into the crushed candy. Okay, canes for a white Russian. Ooh, that would be fun for festive stuff. Crystal might not like that, but I would totally like that. Yeah, I wouldn't like minty, but that sounds festive. I would like the minty. Okay, are I think we... That, I think that would be We're good. on mooch. Okay, here we go. This is what they look like, you guys. They cracked a little bit. They're not jiggly. I take them out at the lower end of the heating. It was 30 to 35 minutes. I go 30. You can cook 35 if you want them a little more cooked and dry, but I like them to stay soft and creamy in the middle. Not uncooked, undercooked. I'm just gonna poke a toothpick in so we can see how that looks. So it did come out a little bit like un undercooked so you can see it did it's not fully cooked what are we looking Whoa. what what <laughs> a kick a lot of what, what, is, what is can you go back further a little bit like to here okay so what is happening i dip this in to see how it's done when something's done like a cake you want it to come out clean we still have a little bit of goo there perfect it's going to continue to cook itself in the pan while it cools that's fine we want it to stay soft so we're done i'm going to take it away from the oven though so it can cool faster so Jess said, I just feel like that Lego Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars easily tip to skills for wheels. We have over a hundred oh, cars. Absolutely. We have we have tons of Lego wheels. We have tons of Hot Wheels. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's, that's a good point. I'm really trying to hard trying to hard to figure out like the missing doors. Where are these missing doors at? Uh, Teresa has like five doors in her house and they're all broken. Oh, <laughs> that's so there's unfortunate. Mi minus five to doors. <laughs> you have a little 
chocolate smile. So 75% of the people said wheels. I concur. I think... Oh yeah, Afriel says lava cake consistency. Not quite. A little more cooked than that, but you don't want to cook it so it's completely like dry and, and done like a cake. Uh, Angela said fridge, oven. I don't know what you're asking. I've had alcohol. Uh, Lily says there are other flavors of candy canes. So you can try it with a non-mint one. Very valid point. These days they're making candy canes all kinds of flavors like Starburst and stuff. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm in, I'm in yes. for that. Uh, missing doors? Escape rooms? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Alicia, welcome to the Dan TV level of membership. If you guys haven't heard... Oh, she had to update her payment. I thought your name was already on there. Thank you so much. If you guys have not heard, not only do we have the RFS fam level, is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, the RFS fam level for about five bucks a month that gets you your name in green, gets you that little Dan uh, profile picture hit. Oh, talking is hard. Um, next to your name, you get access to the members' first vlogs early before anybody else does. You all know about that. For about ten bucks a month, you can go to the second tier. You get all that good stuff. Then you get access to not a podcast. Our audio, oh, damn it, our audio recording in the house. Me and Dan sitting like on the couch bullshitting. At least an hour long. At least an hour long every episode. We talk about uh, nothing and everything. That's really all I can say about that. It's been a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. It just kind of rambles. We just talk about all the everything. So if you guys are interested and want to join that $10 a month level tier four membership, you will get access to that and Dan TV exclusive stuff. You can only find there. Uh... We will eventually be recording some other stuff to go there. We're working on that. Jess says, according to the internet, a doorknob is an example of a wheel and axle in which the knob itself acts as the wheel and the shaft of the lock set acts as the axle. Okay. Problem so, solved. Every door has a wheel. There's so clearly more wheels than it, doors. Have the doors, have the wheels canceled out every door? Every wheel <laughs> on a door has now canceled out every door. We now officially have more wheels than doors the in existence. Over. The pull is over. The pull is the pull is <laughs> it's over. Seventy six percent of you agreed before we debated it out. Awesome. Uh Chance Mavis, which is, uh, I'm assuming Christina under Chance's account. Welcome to the RFS fam. Thank you so much for the support. Appreciate you. I yes, love you. Yes, enjoy the podcast because those are fun. Oh wait, they're not no, a podcast. She's on the RFS fam level. Oh, I'll send you those. Uh, gears are wheels with teeth that slot together, but they're gears. I don't consider a gear a wheel. If a pulley's not a wheel, a gear is not a wheel, Jess. Well, then a doorknob's not a wheel. That's it. I can't take this no more. <laughs> Dale says to Steve, they've been drinking, so please nothing quite that deep. I don't know if there was a new question or if that's the doors versus uh, wheels. Let's scroll up and see. Are eyelids doors for your eyes? <laughs> but are, are, but then are eyeballs wheels? They're more like curtains. Are eyeballs Wouldn't you agree? It's more like a sunshade. It's a go away. Go away. <laughs> it's a go away, yeah. but, but it's not a door. There's no latch. Nothing closer to you can make everything go away but your eyelids. <laughs> yes. But then your eyeballs are wheels. Then your eyeballs are wheels because you're always rolling them. You have. <laughs> oh, yeah. How many miles do you have on those? Oh, all of them. Sometimes you can hear it when I roll them. Oh. Not enough booze for philosophy. <laughs> just enough. Does the British band count? Wheels or doors? What? <laughs> Jason says, if a drawer face is not a door, then a cabinet doesn't count. I still concur that there's more wheels regardless. Wheels. I feel like I just have chocolate all over my face. Do you? Let me see. Oh, it's everywhere. You're lying. <laughs> I can tell by how you said it. <laughs> Did you finish your drink already? No, it's still right here. Um, it's for sipping, Crystal. Oh, oh I've yours, been sipping. <laughs> yours, is yours, is, yours is gone. It's not gone. I still have some. Are you going to make another one? you have enough for another no, one? No, I'm not making another one. <laughs> Absolutely so, not. So. So what? There's there's no timer going. No, this is done. Okay. We just need to let that cool. That's well, going to take a little bit to cool. It says to let it cool completely. So here we are. Uh, waffles or pancakes? Oh, waffles, no question. If you're a pancake waffles. person, you will be banned. <laughs> this is the guy who eats pancakes, no problem. Well, like when you make them, but like, you know. if, 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 if Well, I'm I, banning you because you ate pancakes. It's gone. Get out of here. Everybody, <laughs> Teresa says you look like a little kid with your hoodie. Mm -hmm. So, what else? You, you just kicked me off of the stream, <laughs> and now I'm already invited back. I didn't invite you. Here's Dan. Uh, what about the Bailey's icing topping thingy? Yes, we are going to get to that, but the 
brownies have to cool completely before we can put that on there because it's just going to melt and soak in if that's not cooled down. So oh, okay. So we have to we, hang out. I can make out. it, but then I can't do anything with it. So I'm not going to make it until I can put it on there, which means I have to wait for that to cool, which is why it's sitting there cooling. So now what? we're just hanging out. What else you got going that's on? That's fair. Uh, what else have we been doing? Crystal taught me how to play dominoes yesterday. I, I have taught you multiple times how to play dominoes, and you have always been so resistant because there's math. Oh, it's just that, like, you know, like, growing up watching jail. <laughs> they, like, <laughs> how much jail did you watch? Well, like, they're playing dominoes and stuff if they're good. And, like, I thought there was more to the game than just, like, math. No, even last night when I was like, dude, we should play some Bones, you were like, oh, I just don't understand the game. I don't get it. I didn't sound like you did. that. I didn't get it. I yes, don't know if absolutely. I, I don't know if I remember sounding like that. I remember but you sounding like that. I said, that. let's go for it. I'll try it. I played badminton. Bad, no, no, badminton is the one with the shuttlecocks and the tennis rackets. Well, I guess they're badminton rackets. All right. Backgammon. It is the one that we played. It was Bad Gammon or something. I don't know. <laughs> Stop right? it. And that was Stop a lot it. of fun. I had played it before. I'm like, this is stupid because you just whooped me. Because you got to watch <laughs> out for Crystal because when she turns on like no mercy. her like Lisa Simpson game, it's over. Um, <laughs> but I started winning at Bad Gammon. Bad Gammon. And then, and then, so then I was, she's like, we should play Bones. And I'm like, all right, I'll do that. So I won once a couple times. No, no, no. You did not win the game. You won rounds. But every time we played a two hundred, every time I win a, a round, Crystal would have double blanks, and every time Crystal would win a <laughs> round, I'd have double sixes. And Pretty it's strategic weird. like that, right? And all the rules are just like, oh, well, if you do that, you're gonna get shanked. <laughs> everything was shanked like I was like two moves in and I had been shanked three times we, we played one round where dominoes were up so I could show him like here's I, a good move here's a bad move here's why you would do this and why you wouldn't do that I, I tried to to show him why would you do that you were the closest wipeable you're disgusting uh, yeah, I had it anyway he I got the hang it of it uh, Jason I officially have a new domino partner Except for you Crystal put up a turns, good like, super, like, super Compton on me. Like, she's just, like, <laughs> she's holding them in her hands. You just hold your bones. She's, like, chewing. <laughs> it was not. I kind of half went down and then put another one down, and she's like, oh, you get scabbed, you get shanked for that. <laughs> and I don't even know what I did. You did it wrong. I don't even know. Wrong. So, the backgammon was fun. Now you're talking about backgammon? Yeah, but... You the had fun with dominoes. It was fun. You put up a good fight. You were only, when we hit 200, you were only like 10 points behind. And then we finished out the round and I was more ahead than that. I was doing well for a minute, but then like, you just, I mean, seriously, like everything was like, you got, you can't do that. You're going to get shanked. And then, um, otherwise it's fun. It's fun to math. Like, <laughs> and low dosing. Dan just said it's fun to math. Micro dosing math. Like you only have to get the five or increments of five. So that's micro math. That, 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 that micro dosing. <laughs> is micro math. Yeah. I'm okay. Oh, uh, poor Jason. So Jason and I used to play all the time, like, in the middle of the night. And not, like, middle of the night. We're both night people. So we would stay up late and uh, play Bones all night long. And even the first time I went out to see Jason at 1 a.m., we were playing Bones. Like, I got in. He picked me up. We hung out at his house for a little bit. And then we played some 1 a.m. Bones. There you go. He says he can only get Mikey to play when they go to Mackinac. Oh, that sucks. We were oh. watching, like, Comic View people last night. It was funny. Oh, yes. Earthquake has a new special on Netflix. I'll need to check oh, that out. Oh, man. I was, Dan was laughing so I couldn't hard. breathe. So I hard. couldn't breathe. Oh, my gosh. Jason says, did we even play when you were here last? Nah, bro. I played with your kid. I played Lego and cookie making. No, I was I was thinking about that and kind of disappointed. I was sad. Christina, welcome to RFS fam. Um, Now you have two memberships, so maybe you should cancel the other one. Because now you have two. But thank you. Yes. Um, Crystal Dale says stuff. <laughs> uh, I think what you guys call bones and dominoes, I grew up calling the boneyard. Okay, bones is is the domino. <laughs> and like the game, we call bones. The boneyard is when I have my dominoes, Dan has his dominoes, or bones, if you will. And then the ones you choose from when you can't play anything, that's the boneyard. I was educating Dan on the, the uh, yeah. terminology. Linda says, did you get my email about the parcel? 
No. I did I did not. We're... Which, did you send it to the Getting Baked with Crystal email? I don't check that as often as I should, I promise you. Um, let me know where you sent it, and I will check that out. Steve also has words that are far away. Now you know why the rest of the world uses the metric system, which is base 10. Oh, we have never doubted that the metric system is superior. The problem is they didn't teach it to us. The metric system makes so much more sense. They just didn't teach it to us. Aaron says uh, we call that the bone pile. All right, we call it the bone yard. Different, different names. I was with Uncle Yukon until last night. Dominoes are only good for lining them up and knocking them over. I, <laughs> I was, but I had, I did have a lot of fun. It's a lot more simpler than I thought. It is a relatively simple game, but there is some strategy to it. Right. And because don't do something you shouldn't do, or you'll get shanked. Yes, uh, as we talked about in the uh, audio recording on a podcast, that we have the the board game Olympics going on or the game Olympics where we've been keeping track of all our wins. Yes. Even though I think Crystal was trying to cheat a little bit, but all our wins. How was I cheating? Tell me, how was I cheating? What, can you tell me what pose you just struck? Give me the truth. It's just... I'm calling, this is the calling you out pose. I've been drinking and I want to know what you're trying to call me out for. How was I cheating? You strategically wait two or three days to enter it into the system, and then you're like, how many did you win? And I'm all... Maybe you should enter it into the system. <laughs> Nobody's stopping you. You maybe. can write it down on a piece of paper. You can take a picture. Do what you gotta <laughs> maybe do. Maybe I'm gonna have to. <laughs> maybe I'm gonna have to now. Uh, Jason maybe. pointed out they're called bones because they used to be made of actual bones. Ew. Dan did tell me uh, Jason would play with the same bones. Sh shape. Like, like, there's no chunk of... You whittle them down. No, you can't get them to that size. They're going to have to be all, like, They wonky. didn't say human. <laughs> well, stop it. Stop it. Ugh. Um, Jason, we are playing with the same bones that you and I used to play with, and Dan was like, these are kind of gross. I just, we might need to wash them. I just need to wash. They just need to be washed. Uh, Linda says, sent to Crystal Strawby. An email? I don't have an email under my name. Oh, oh do you have a Was email? it? No. <laughs> no, I'm I, still your, rocking a hotmail. Where's mail. your contact information? Can, uh, can was you... it was it on a social media? I need more information. Uh, <laughs> Dale thing was thinking it was maybe Crystal, more everybody. of an East Coast West Coast thing. He grew up in New Jersey. I assume Dale is he, but I guess Dale could be a she name. Can I have the mouse? It's all right. Oh, here comes the Christmas uh, show. Steve says he feels like not calling it the Bone Zone was a missed opportunity. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. There you go. Uh, F Vamp does not like dominoes. Well, then we can't be friends anymore. I didn't like it ever, but I had a lot of fun last night. We've been playing games, like, every night. We have. So we've been going through all of them. We learned... Uh, Jason pointing out... Oh, Crystal, don't cheat, bro. She don't. Thank you. Thank you. The, to the person who has played more games with me than anybody in my life, uh, close second, my mom, and Dan trying for third, but Jason and I played more games than I've ever played with anybody ever. Uh, Doris says, damn, Crystal's scary. Oh yeah, I grew up in the hood and I got a little brother. I will punk you. <laughs> she don't eat meat, but she sure likes the bones. Oh my God. That with the, what, was that, what was that band? Was that Dick Dale that sang that song? Was that Chris? How did you know? <laughs> How did you know? Oh, uh, look at you. You get a little bit of chocolate in you and you're good to go. Athena says, I never heard of the game Bones. Oh, friend, it's Domino's. Surely you've heard of dominoes. Not the kind that you stand up and knock down, but like when you play Not the domino game, rally. Not, yeah, not domino rally, but where you put like the one up against the one and the five up against the five and you try to score uh, increments of five. So whatever's on the end of the put together dominoes is what scores. So if your total at the ends is six, you get nothing. If it's eight, you get nothing. If it's 10, you get 10 points. If it's five, you get five points, but only increments of five. Why don't you ask Crystal the email question tomorrow <laughs> during Dantics? You sent emails to me from this email address before. Okay, then it's probably getting baked with Crystal. It might show my name, but I think, oh, yeah. I will try to remember to check that later tonight, probably tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. I've been drinking. What do you want from me? Uh, here you go, Crystal. Alcohol is never the answer. Alcohol is the question. Yes is the answer. I concur. But only on drinking days. Uh, Dale says, I'm very female, Crystal, but I totally get that all the freaking time. All my 56 years on this planet so far, I apologize, and I will try to remember that you are female. It's hard these days, too, because you notice a lot of times if I can't tell if you guys have a gender-neutral name, I try to just say they if I don't know one, or, one way or the other, because who knows? Uh, so what does it mean to get shanked in Domino? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so Domino's is a very common game in, like, 
the hood what or in do, jail? What did I do wrong? I had two pieces in my hand. Oh, I'm trying. And I was trying to kind of like fiddle with faddle, and you started putting yours down, and she said I was going to get shanked. Uh, I believe I actually said you were going to get shivved. <laughs> but uh, because it's a popular jail pastime, um, people in jail will stab you if you don't play correctly. <laughs> you you will get stabbed for that. So, <laughs> like, I've never been to jail, but I just hear these stories. I saw the Shawshank Redemption. I know. Ooh, Brittany plays Bones on her Switch. Ooh, I haven't played it on the Switch. Jason and I used to have an app we would play on, but then you like, played Bones happened. with some dude for like ten years. Some old guy. It was like, like a, a his, his picture was like a grandpa, and then the app stopped getting updated, and then you couldn't play on the app anymore. And then I got a new phone, and but you played with that dude for like a decade. I played with him forever. We never talked to each other. There was a chat, but we never talked to each other. We just played Bones together for constantly ev- for years. Constantly. And this was early two thousand tens for like yes. years and like years. Like when I. First got a smartphone. Yeah. 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 Some some old guy, I don't even remember his name anymore, but some old guy and I played some bones forever. Uh, where else are we? Uh, Teresa says, I'm just sitting here laughing at Dan and Crystal argue. It's friendly arguing. This is pretty much how it goes all the time. Yes. <laughs> this is pretty much how it is when the cameras are... Actually, this is exactly like it is cameras off. You should see us play games. <laughs> you should see us play... You should see, see us play badminton. Backgammon. Yes. Dan, Dan is a cheater and apparently can't count to six. I'm not a cheater. I'm an honest mistaker. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I count and then I go over the stack you on accident. You only have to count to six, Dan. You but, literally only have to count to six. But sometimes if the spaces are occupied, I'm like, oh, I got to count empty spaces, which no. that's not true. No. You have to watch every but, move that Dan makes. And I appreciate it because sometimes I'm like... Sometimes I make a move, and then Crystal's like, what did you just do? And then I no, realize what I just do. No, do I say, do. what did you just do? No, no I say, said, why don't you count that again? You said, why are you getting shanked for that? <laughs> and then so, so then I have to, like, be careful. But it's true. It is true. That you're a cheater. No, that, like, sometimes <laughs> it's oops. Like, oops. Jason says, that app was dope. I had an old man I played against, too. It really was the best. I have not found a... Uh, Equivalent well, replacement. I should look again. There's got to be a Domino's game on there. There's got to be. Again. There's, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. Uh, Helen and Doris play Yahtzee on their phones. So, Yahtzee, I used to play Yahtzee with my mom all the time. A lot of the games that I play that are like old people games, like Backgammon, uh, apologies to anybody who likes these games, but to me, like, my mom taught me Backgammon. Game my mom taught me Yahtzee. Like, it's, yeah, they're not like more modern games. They're like older games. My mom and I would play the hell out of those. We would play Yahtzee where we'd play the whole sheet at a time. So instead of just playing one row, you got to fill that whole sheet. And we'd play forever. She told me the other day, you know, I just made you play games with me because I had nobody else to play with. I'm like, I'm all about it. <laughs> like, I had a lot of fun. We used to play games all the time. We would play Rummy. We would play Backgammon. We would play Yahtzee. I had a lot of fun with my mom playing games. We'd play Rummy Cube, but we have the actual game game. But we've yes. been playing an alternative to... Yahtzee. Yes, I don't know what you're doing there. We've been playing Farkle. Are you holding that up for me to look at? Yes. <laughs> Why? Yes. So, we've been playing Farkle, which is like, it's kind of like Yahtzee, but you can see the score. You're always scoring on the bottom. Yes. Right? That's what it looks like. So, you're never locked out like Yahtzee. Like, once you roll, you're pretty much just trying to see what points you're getting. And you can, like, keep on rolling. Yes, and if it's a gambling game as well because you have to get you either take the points you have or you re-roll the ones that didn't score and see if you could get more. But if the ones you rolled didn't score, you get no points that round. So that was crazy. You, it's, cr- it's a lot of fun. You gamble a lot. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. I love Farkle. Yeah, uh, Farkle's fine. Um, I still couldn't figure out euchre, but I was very intoxicated one night when I first met Jess, and we're, they were trying to teach us how to play euchre. Yes. So uh, that was a I don't know. Night. You know what? I don't think I need. Like, I don't think I'm supposed to know how to play that game. We're from California. Yeah, that's not a California thing. It's not a California. Uh, Dale says I so badly want somebody to teach me how to play backgammon, and I find that game so intriguing. It's so easy. It looks like intimidating. Get an app on your phone. There's got to be a backgammon app out there still. You roll the dice and you move. Yeah, literally. Like you set setting up the board is the hardest part to remember. I always have to check. Uh, I got it down now that we played. Are you licking the rim of your glass? Ew. Off camera. So unattractive, Dan. <laughs> like, not just like licking it, but like his tongue is inside the glass. It's like a dog. Talk it's like it a dog. Um, Dale, see if there's an app for your phone or your computer or something that you can play. Um, setting up is the hardest part to remember where they go, but it's super easy. You roll your two dice 
And then you move one piece that many of one dice and another piece or both piece one piece both oh words. Yes, that's it. You just count. Like it's super super easy. It looks like complicated and intimidating, but it's super easy. Uh we're getting that Euchre is great and uh backgammon is fun. Ooh, it's starting to get blurry for me. Brittany says, I play a lot of old people games on my Switch and my phone. I didn't know there was games like that on the Switch. Uh, did you ever play Aggravation growing up? I don't know what that is. Let me look it up. I did not. We had Uno, but I just played it with myself. Or like like uh, one player games. Yeah. No, I've never heard of this game. It looks kind of like sorry. Is it sorry? Please tell me. Is it the same thing? Whew. There's so much shovelware on the Switch store. I don't know what that means. You must explain shovelware. Yes, please. Uh, Jess says, I English good. <laughs> Thanks, I'm trying. <laughs> my train of thought is not following my mouth or the other way around. Bureau Book says, don't get tanked before you finish baking. No worries, I finished my drink. We're good. What are we, what are we waiting for now? For it to cool off still a little bit more? Yeah. Yeah, we're still really warm. We'll give it to like 7.30. Okay, oof. Okay, all right, all right. Let's do it. It should be pretty easy to make the, the topping, and then we'll throw that in the fridge while the next bit makes. I guess I could throw this in the fridge. Are you trying to get the last few drops out of there? You like that, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> That was really good. Is there more of this stuff? No, you don't need any more of this stuff. Look, he cleared the chocolate. You didn't clear your chocolate? <laughs> no. Why not? No. Uh, just as I would put it in our garage to cool it down. You know, it's still 54 outside, so uh, it was so, <laughs> it's not going to work. Right. Somebody it's might a nice, just nice steal warm it off day her, today. Steal it off our porch. It's entirely possible. Um, that is so cool though that she gets to just keep her like drinks and stuff in the in the garage. And it's it's just, a nice feature. Everything's just uh, cool. Steve says it's just really low quality games, like no effort. Think solitaire yeah. for Windows versus iRacing. Right. Got it. Yes. Uh, Doris says about uh, what was the game called? Aggravation. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, it's not sorry, but it's kind of in the same vein. It's dice and marbles on a board, and you put people back by jumping them. Expecting Chris comments any second. <laughs> yes. Uh, Amanda says, Crystal, help! I made the frosting and it is so strong, I'm not a big fan of it. Okay, two choices. Scrap the frosting altogether. Don't bother with the frosting. Uh, three choices. Scrap it altogether. Remake it and use some milk in place of some of the Baileys. So if you want the Baileys flavor, use less Baileys. I think my computer died here. Um, use less Baileys, but good to know that it's a bit strong. I don't know if I should make it exactly as it's called for. Sorry, I'm trying to pull up the recipe here so I can see. Oh yeah, third cup is quite a bit. Um, or you can try adding more butter and powdered sugar in equal increment ratios. I don't know if that's the right, I don't know if I'm describing this right, but try diluting it basically. So add more of the other two ingredients that are not Irish cream, maybe add a little bit of milk instead. Um, See if that helps, or just scrap it all together and just put the chocolate ganache on top, but make it with that. See, the, ooh, the ganache takes half a cup of Irish cream, so that's a lot. <laughs> that's a whole lot. Uh, you guys, I see you guys suggesting to put it in the fridge. I don't know if there's room in there. <laughs> um, I may do that. It's still really, really hot, so it's too hot to go on the, the glass fridge shelf at the moment, but that is the plan soon. Uh, you can also use an extract and milk instead of the Baileys. Yeah, but we'd have to have the extract and have planned ahead for that. So uh, assuming you don't have an extract, I would say, like I said, scrap it, make it again with milk replacing some of the Baileys if you have enough powdered sugar and butter, or add some powdered sugar and butter to dilute it a little bit. I don't, that, those are what my is suggestions. It, Crystal, what does it mean when the frosting is strong? There's so much Baileys in it. Like there's a lot of alcohol in the frosting. Because it's a third cup in the frosting and a half a cup in the ganache. I'm just going to make regular frosting and figure out the ganache a regular way. Absolutely. And then AJ can eat it. You don't have to make another batch. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Irish cream is like kind of thick. If you have heavy cream, because it did call for heavy cream in the ganache, maybe just use more heavy cream. Kind of eyeball it. Don't necessarily measure out that half cup right away. 
um, mix it and kind of see what it looks like and what the consistency is. I don't know. Uh, Liz, Lily says, so true. That makes sense, Crystal. Yeah, I'll get it in the fridge shortly. I don't want the, the quick temperature change. I don't want to crack my, my fridge glass. Do we have more time to kill? Yeah, what do you got? Do you got? want a cat snack? We can do that. I did see uh, Charlotte asked if you had been to the post office lately. No, you know what? And I was... Look, Charlotte, the water was turned off today. Oh my gosh. You don't understand. You don't understand. The water was turned off. The... Uh, Don's suggesting, uh, Amanda, you can replace it with coffee creamer if you have that. That put me to a stop. I try to wash my pivot, hands. Pivot, Dan, pivot. I pivoted, but every pivot was a dang water thing. I pivoted to get myself something to drink. Right. So I put You ice. couldn't get a drink. You couldn't wash the dishes. You couldn't do laundry. Right. What was stopping you from going to the post office? We even talked about it maybe. I was, first of all, I was dehydrated because there was no water. I put, I put there ice cubes. There were two bottles of water in the refrigerator and two more under there. Try again. I put ice cubes in the cup and there was no water. I'm like, that's dumb. And then I'm like, I'm, I have to consume. So I ate some Flaming Hot Cheetos. That That's was brilliant stuck. when there's no water. Mooch is sitting here going like, where's the water? I'm like trying to speak cat, but apparently the Trent lost in translation. So I had nothing with that. Fine. No problem. I'm just going to go ahead and wash the dishes real quick to kill some time. No, I'm not. Oh my gosh. All of a sudden I have to go to the bathroom. Worse than I've ever had it gone before. But uh, Jess asking if you saved the flush. I saved the flush. I saved the flush. I saved the flush. I've learned. So instinct now is the same. I flush. used your flush when I was home for lunch. I know you did. <laughs> when you flushed the toilet, I was like, there goes nothing. Uh, Lily says, water was off? Yes. Um, they often have to work like we... Have... This whole town it's off has really the... bad like uh, underground pipes. So in, right. in Little Rock, we're, we're doing a job at work for the Little Rock uh, Irrigation District. And they sent a picture of like what the underground pipes look like. Like... Like cross section, like looking down the pipe. I know. I don't, don't drink the water in Little Rock. Don't drink the water. Um, oh. a, lot, a lot of it was so old that it was tar paper rolled up. Yes, everything is just old bad. and like falling apart. So, so rather than replacing it, they constantly just come like repair things. Right. So then they'll shut it yes. off to like our whole neighborhood all at yes. once. So they can repair something that's underneath the shut off to the house. Yes, it happens Which, probably once a month. It happened to us. One time. So the pole coming up is stupid PVC, which is dumb. <laughs> then there's a big juncture where the meter is. Anything on south, our On our house. South of the meter is the city's problem. Anything north of the meter is my problem. Right north of the meter, there's a spigot. You know, you turn on ear, ear, ear. Spigot with a G. Really? S-P-I-C-K-E-T. Spigot. No, G-O-T. Oh. It's spigot. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm not one of that spelling bee. Don't worry, it's so six letters. It won't be I wanted to replace it. I twisted it hard, and I snapped the pipe underneath the meter. At, like, and, 9 o'clock at night. Oh, my gosh. It just rained water so, forever. So they had we, to come. For those of you who don't shut know. Shut the whole water we, off. We live in a mobile home park. Right. So we can't call a plumber for it stuff like, like that. Flint, Michigan. <laughs> yeah, it's bit. not flammable. A little bit. Um, it's not brown when it comes out of the faucet, but we right. do not drink tap water. We right. have filtered out of the fridge water or bottled water. Um, but because we live in a mobile home park, if it's below our water meter, we can't call a plumber. Uh -uh. We have to go tell them to call a plumber. Right, because we have no And they only shut call up. one plumbing company. So if that plumbing company's busy and they only have one guy working at night, which we know because multiple times we had to call him out at night and it's the same guy every time. He tells us all about his model train sets and stuff. And sometimes I tip him and tell him to buy himself a train and he laughs at me because they're way more expensive than that. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so he had to <laughs> turn the whole water off to the park and then fix our thing. So it's just somebody else. It was a schedule this time, I guess. Yes. It was yeah. somebody else's something. So yeah. they turn it off, it goes off, and then I'm stuck. I'm screwed. Yes. All of a sudden I can't boil water, which all of a sudden I need to do for reasons. <laughs> for Maybe reasons. I need a cup of tea. But then I'm stuck and then like I don't feel like I'm crippled until the water comes back on. Yes. The water was on like so I can hear it come back. And it came back, and Mooch jumped up, and he ran over to the water, and he was deep in the water. Because <laughs> he heard it come back. He was so uh, excited. Brittany pointing out, this story isn't a vlog. Yes, it's probably in multiple vlogs. It's yes. Multiple times we've had issues right. with this. When we were redoing um, our smaller bathroom, the water line broke at, like, 9 o'clock at night. We were doing something else. Oh, we were trying to change the, the shutoff valve. And I had to tell the guy, like, when he changed out all the stuff and replaced it, I'm like, you might want to go ahead and change that shutoff valve, too, because we're going to just break yeah, it again. Yeah, I blew it up. Yeah, yeah. So we um, try not to touch the water. I live in Central Texas. I never drink the tap water. I listened to Rooster Teeth podcast, and they were talking on the podcast how they get texts from the city of, like, oh, by the way, for the next, like, 72 hours, 
you can't drink your water, you gotta boil it. Because, like, the water's just bad. It's terrifying. And so, you, yeah. you bathe in it. I know. Like, oh, I, I am of the belief that, like, I know there are places where you can drink tap water. I hear uh, Steve saying we have some of the best water in Canada here in Windsor. I hear there are places you can drink tap water. I do not drink tap water. I had a, I wouldn't say an argument, but, like, a, a slightly, um, not even heated, but, like, a no, you're wrong kind of discussion with my old man boss. Um, he's 81. He'll, like, he's made it this far. He's drinking tap water. He's not afraid. Right. And I was telling him how I don't drink tap water at my house. He lives all the way on the other side of town in Quartz Hill. So it's fancy over there. Oh, it's the beautiful So he might be able there. to drink tap water at his house, but I told him, like, yeah, I don't drink tap water I at my house. I imagine ours is mossy. Is it? Shouldn't, like, all our lines be full of gunk by now? They're, Dan, they're, like, brown and rusty and disgusting. At least the picture I saw from the Little Rock ones. Right. Nasty and disgusting. I do drink our refrigerator water, too, because we have a filter on there. Yes, we have a filter well, refrigerator for the water. I don't know if that really is healthy. But he argued with me because I told him that the... So we have one of those machines, not with the jug on top, but, like, the filtered water machine where right. it taps into the water line at work. And you can get hot water, cold water, and, like, lukewarm water, I guess. And I told him how good the water is here. And he's like, what are you talking about? It's the same as the water at home. Like, no, it's not. And you've tasted it. I I fill mine up every day before I leave work. I make sure to fill up my water bottle so I have as much water as I can. It's good water. It's so Our water, you can see here on the sink. Could you just go over tighter, please? See how white it is there? Everything turns white. Yes. Everything turns white so fast. So, yeah. So, I don't want to. I don't drink the water out of the tub. I bathe in it, though. Yeah, but so I don't put it in matter? my mouth. I don't know. Sticks and stones, you know? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, but we do drink the... Th- uh, we drink tap water, but it goes through a pure filter. We do like the filter... We've talked about putting a filter on just on the sink to just be able to drink the sink water. I don't know. We need a new filter, though, because I replaced it like four years ago. It's been a minute. Yes, Hannah, we have hard water. Um, I've looked into getting like a water softener for the whole house, They're but then that takes us back to that expensive. outside thing that we don't want to touch because it's going to break and it water takes, shoots out everywhere. It kind of is expensive. A little bit. How little often bit. do you change your filters? Uh oh. Bud is here. Hey, hey, sup? What is up, friend? Thanks for joining us. Uh, who said how often do you change your filters? Oh, to Jess. Uh, RO yeah. filters waste a lot of water. What is that? I don't know what RO means. Help. As soon as the lights red, ours has probably been red for years. If there was, a, if there was, a... my mom's refrigerator will stop giving water if the filter is no longer good. So she has to buy a new one. That the filters why. are like fifty dollars. I was buying these knockoff ones on uh, eBay, and they were working fine till one time I got one that didn't. Uh, reverse osmosis. That's fancier than I know. Jason says his stops too. Mine doesn't. We're, we're, we need to replace our filter. I just drink the work water. I, I take my ice from home, and then I drink the work water. That's all. Uh, Bud says, I heard Bailey's. Yes, you did, friend. We are uh, one mudslide in, and holy crap, those are strong. Uh, my train of thought left without me. Oh, we made brownies. They're cooling. I can probably stick them in the fridge now to cool them a little bit faster. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm I ready. I'll keep it on the silicone mat to uh, make sure it's not too hot. I guess, where's the... That's as far as I can get you over there to the fridge. Are you watching me, Tetris? Nobody needs to see that mess. Ah, Jason, yes, pointing out Bud is another part of the RFS crew. Yeah, if you guys want to know who Bud is, check out um, RFS... Wait, random friends... Oh, those mudslides were good. It was like three quarters of a glass and it kicked in. Um, Random friend squad, Bud is one of the members of the old random friend squad. Yeah, our uh, our cats get filtered water as well. They drink yes. better than me. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Hannah says my dad works at a wastewater treatment plant, oh, this so one I've is, seen some crap. Went up the street. Um, Remember we used to drive by it. Yeah, Blake when he was little. Whoa. When Blake was younger, he went to school at a town like half hour away where his mom lived, and so when he could you calm down? When he was here, we'd have to drive him out there. And there's like a whole lot of nothing between here and there. Like we're at the edge of one town and his school was at the edge of the next town. So you're just driving through like dirt. Um, but on the way is the, the wastewater treatment facility, which Blake is a child called the poo poo factory. Cause that's what it smelled like which when you would drive is. by. <laughs> yeah. And we would drive by, it was here and we would drive by on this side of it, which was downwind uh, of it. It was rotten. And on warm mornings, oh, uh, you could not get that smell out of your boo. car fast enough. <laughs> 
It was bad. It was bad. Uh, Shannon says, we live in clay. We have to change ours every few months. They get so bad from our well water. I don't know nothing about well water. I know. We don't have any of that stuff here. Yeah, that's not no. a thing. But we only drink our water out of filtered stuff. Yes. Oh, it's a shit factory. <laughs> Poo-poo factory. <laughs> Blake didn't say shit. Although, uh, the other day he did call Dan a bitch. Um, yeah. <laughs> in a totally applicable manner. Like, it was something like, oh yeah, that's because that's what bitches do. <laughs> and he was right. <laughs> oh, fuck him. Blake would never swear as a kid. Like, Jason would offer him money just to say the F word. He would never do it. But, you know, he's 20 now, which we call 20 going on 16 or so. And every once in a while, he'll throw out an appropriate, like, F word or S word or uh, call Dan a bitch. <laughs> it doesn't happen often. It does not. And it's always totally applicable. All right. Shall we get started on this? Whew. Okay. So we are going to do three quarters cup softened unsalted butter or, you know, the margarine. No, oh, I should have cut this while it was cold. It's always so hard to cut when it's soft. Are you moving my things again? A little bit. I was making them better. Were you though? Crystal, do you know that Jess has pins that she's mailing out from her own house? I did of hear. Of her dogs. I saw them and they're pretty freaking adorable. Which means each pin could get you some dog hair. It could. It could. I remember uh, when Charles Trippy was making videos, people were talking about collecting the dog hair off of the outfits. Yeah. Uh, the items they were purchasing when they were filming their own merch. But this is old school with Jess's very tinish tiny minish hands <laughs> she fills these orders that's a big pin for her yeah yeah well she will put a link in the chat to her awesome pins did you know she only made a hundred of the eleanor pins is that all yeah after that it's it's gone forever or until she makes more but she'll rent him the first ones and then she'll make it different the second time Right. Yeah, you'll have to check it out. They haven't even been in a vlog yet. I feel like I should reorder them now. No, you gotta let them run out first. Just sell out. The pins are here. Okay, guys. Remember we're baking stuff? Uh, the, the link to the pins is in the chat Yes, there. which, when I went to the convention, only one per. I'd never seen the pins before. Only one person showed up with their cool punk rock jacket, and they had the pin, all the pins on there, and that was my favorite person. Yeah. Yeah, just because that's like such a rarity to have. The end. Okay. I got a stick and a half of butter in here. We're going to stir this, mix this. We're going to put this in here with it turned on till it's fluffy. Then to that, we are going to add three cups of powdered sugar and a third of a cup of Bailey's Irish cream. I know you said it's strong, Amanda, but I'm going for it. Do it. I'm doing it, Dan. Doing the damn thing. Coordination. It's not my strong suit at the moment. Just says there's only 30 left of the OG set, so if you guys want one, you should hop on that. Dan, I've got some bad news. Bad news? Bad news. Oh, OMG, WTF, BBQ. You don't get to put these in your mouth tonight. <laughs> Dan's flipping me off behind the camera. No, thumbs up! <laughs> uh, these, once they are done, have to cool to room temperature and then go in the fridge. Can, can I, what is this? This is butter. Does it have alcohol in it? Not yet. Oh, Jeepers. Uh, just pointing out, they are a printed pin, not an enamel piece yes. pin, so they are smooth. Yes, so it's like a clear piece of plastic with the printing on the back side. Yes. Nooch. Uh, pin. Hannah says her edibles are strong. Hannah. Dan, what was that thing we were watching? It was Adult Swim. Any more information from you? It was like... more? It was like a chill-out stream. It was like 
Ambient Adult Swim or something? I can send it to you. What app was it on? It was on, I had it on HBO. Because oh. It was the Adult Swim Do on you HBO. have the HBO app? It's probably free on YouTube. Because you should watch some of that, because I was watching it just thinking, this is for people on drugs. This is totally for people Edibles on drugs. Edibles are drugs. On, on medicine. On a medicine that might allow you to hallucinate. Or trip out. I just have to scrape the butter from the side because it's sticking to the side and not getting fluffy because I didn't use the paddle with the scraper. Okay, so we're going to add a crap ton of powdered sugar to this. How much is that? Is that more than a grip? Way more than a grip. It's three cups. What are you doing? I just bought that. Cups. You did not. This is the old one. Oh. I've got a whole other bag under there. You made me get it like you were desperate for it. Because I don't know if there's three cups here. Uh, Hannah says, oh, this doesn't make me really trippy. Just buzzy. Yeah, but are you at the point where, like, if there's some trippy stuff happening visually, you'll just zone out on it? Because that's what this was. Right. It looked like it would be a lot of fun to zone out on if you were uh, tripping. Trip, trip, if you were buzzy. 20 years younger. <laughs> if I was 20 years younger. All right. One. Ha, uh, ha, uh, ha. Uh. I am back. Where are we now? Paddle with the scraper? No, I didn't pull out the paddle with the scraper. We are making the Bailey's frosting, which Amanda said was too strong, but I'm going for it. We'll see how it turns out. That's a lot of powdered sugar. I'm gonna have to get some liquid in here. So it wants a third cup of the Bailey's. I've been using that sage lotion that uh, Megan sent us. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it is nice. I think we have a forever supply. Yes. When we get down to the bottom, we might need a popsicle stick, though. Right. All right, so that was my third cup of Bailey's. One third cup. And then we'll add a second cup of powdered sugar. So what's going on Sunday? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh boy. You'll pay for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. All right, no. Crystal. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm, you're jamming. I love it. I love it. I love it. Keep it going. Uh, Sunday, I'm going shopping. It's your mom's birthday? It is. How old's your mama? 29. Don't reveal a woman's age, Dan. Oh my gosh, that's not very 2022 of you. <laughs> not talking about how old my mom is. She's old enough to have a 41-year-old daughter. Yeah. Um, although, someone came in today and was like, I talked to the other lady here, and I said, oh, my mom? And he said, that's your mom? Oh, good for her. <laughs> like, for dealing with your shit. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Okay, so this is becoming more frosting-like now. I'm gonna scrape the powdered sugar off the sides here with my paddle with no scraper. Mm-hmm. Whew, and just fling everything out. And we are going to add one more cup of powdered sugar. hungry now. Well, what too. did you expect to happen? Me too. I'm hungry as well. That's so sad, Dan. So, Crystal, the new season of Survivor uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Survivor US just started. Yes, it did. Um, I know, like, there's no way to pick a favorite until, like, a month in. Right. Uh, um, so there's one guy that we are calling Jason Manoa. 
Okay. Because it's not Jason Momoa. Right. There's one guy that looks like if Jonah Hill and Jason Biggs had a baby. Oh, that's true. <laughs> true story. Um, I'm really bad at recognizing faces, but I can always nail which two people somebody looks like. I'm always calling out, oh, that looks like so-and-so and so-and-so had a baby, and you always agree wholeheartedly. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to do U.S. Survivor this year. Let us know in the chat if anybody else is also doing U.S. Survivor. It's really hard after watching Australia to Survivor and how much more hardcore it is. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Lily says, when you said paddle with a <laughs> scraper, I've not heard of that since I use the paddle without the scraper all the time at culinary school and at home. I prefer the one without the scraper. I don't think I've told you guys this. I really oh, prefer... Oh, no. After the Look. commercial. <laughs> I have it. I have this one. It has the scraper attached. It doesn't really fully scrape. Like, it's not that much of a game changer. And then, like, bits get stuck all around here, and you have to scrape things off with your fingers. Anyway, who washed it? Did you do the dishes last, Dan? Oh, man, I'm over for 3 today. That's literally the third thing I put back in the sink. Literally. Uh, Dale says, on my grandmother's 90th birthday, her birthday cake literally read the 61st and 60... Oh. 61st anniversary of her 29th birthday. Good not for her. Me. When I'm 90 years old, every single person is going to know that I'm 90 years old. That's fine if you want to announce that, but I'm not announcing anybody else's. Age. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to be out of control, an old man. I'm going to be Oh, you're going to be grabbing butts. Oh, canceled so many times. So many times. If it doesn't fully scrape, then your screw needs to be slightly adjusted, friend. I have adjusted my screw a million times. I do need to uh, look into that Everdyne that you've been talking about. Yes, we saw that, huh? Remember we, we were we were uh, looking at that the other day? Yes. Um, yes, we definitely need an Everdyne. I would love for that. But yeah, right, somebody... This uh, frosting is a good consistency. I just need to do a little bit more scraping here off the paddle itself. There's a chunk of butter here. It looks good. We definitely should uh, look into the Everdyne. Yes. But yeah, I've, I've seen that and I was just like, oh, cool. And then next... Get your fingers out of it. Dan. Very good. I'm on board with that. Very, very good. That, and That might have been a little strong for you, Amanda, but I like um, it. You know what it does? It tastes like the Baileys. Yes, and I think once it goes onto the brownie... It tastes like full Baileys. The brownie will make it calm down a little bit, like balance okay. out the well, flavor. It, but it tastes, it, tastes like, it tasted exactly like the same kick as a full shot of Baileys. Yes. Like, it, it, it ramped up to that peak. Uh, it, it died down quicker, but it ramped up to that, to that peak. Uh, Lily asking what Everdyne is. Jess pointing out, it's from Mr. Mixer. It's like $12, and he finally installed it, and it's amazing. It's like some sort of screwy thing that, like, goes in, like... Can you explain it, Jess? Because... And it, like, balances that out, right? Yeah, apart for your mixer. It, so... <laughs> When you set your mixer, like you adjust it, the KitchenAid mixer, it's, it's like supposed to be able to. Here, right? You can put a dime in the bottom, and it will move around the dime. Like it won't help. Jess, I had oh. too much drinking. So it's got like this little rubber piece and the screw on it. So when you tighten it correctly, it sets the Swisher Doodle mixer thingy to the perfect height. The Swisher Doodle. Yes. So it goes on the screw under the head of your mixer when you tilt it up. Yes. Yeah, so it goes on that screw. That's there's a screw like right here, and there's like a little rubber chunk. And I think it you tighten it down to the correct. Yeah. It sets the axle depth. So before Thank you. they would put a dime on there, and it needs to like barely brush the dime, right? Yes. Um. So and then this just kind of like sets it for you. But when I was watching lots of videos. And I'm not sure if Jess has mentioned it to us before, um, of people um, re-overhauling their kitchen mixer. So I was like, maybe we'll just overhaul it. Uh, they all had Everdimes. Yeah. Yes, that's definitely something we should Uh huh. Get. Jess should put an affiliate link for your stuff in, the, in, in there with your Everdime if it comes from Amazon. I will say this frosting is very liquidy, so I think I want to put this in the fridge for a little bit. That's the alcohol frosting? Yes. How do I get another, like, swishy dupe? Relax, my finger. You did it. That is very good. That is so good. It is really yes. good. That is very good. Mr. Mixer has a YouTube channel and it shows you everything you need to know how to fix your mixer at home. Okay, yeah. I would like to do ours on a live stream. Yeah? Yeah, so people can watch us 
do it, struggle a little bit, and they they can feel empowered, and they <laughs> they can do it as well. You feel better than us. Yeah, and then you do it as well. Are you done mixing? No, I'm just uh, hand mixing a little bit more powdered sugar into here because it is a little bit liquidy and runny. Steve says, what if I want to put a Hemi in my mixer? You know, you, you remind me of those people. Do Vlog you, it, friend. Do you remember when it was popular, Crystal, for a while to have a margarita machine with like a, the little motor on it? Rom, 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 rom. So, no. Like, when I went to NASCAR and stuff, it'd be like a little margarita machine here and it would have a, like a motor on it and handlebars and the guy would be like, rom, rom, rom. And it would like make margaritas super fast. Because he had like a motor on it. That's what that reminds me of. I don't know anything about that. Dead everybody. <laughs> All right. I think that's a little. If you do it on a live stream with the mixer, then I will fix mine at the same time. Deal. I'll figure out like what parts to overhaul it with, and then we could just work on it together. It's. I'm a little scared about taking it apart, Dan, because you took apart the dryer and you were going to fix it and it was going to be better. And now it makes this weird clunking noise instead of the squeaking noise it made to begin with. I feel like the dryer is going to explode. I because like I can not convinced that it's like not. I feel like I can feel the exhaust more. I think our hose out the back is damaged. Is that what's going on? I think so. I don't know, but I tried to fix it. I replaced all the parts. You and me both. Yeah, but now it makes a clunking noise instead of the squeaking noise. I cut so my I'm finger. a little hesitant to take my mixer apart. I cut my finger. I needed surgical sutures, and I got none. You did not. And then you did not. And then I don't know what's wrong with it, but like I agree. But you. You like overhauled your Mustang, so what if you did all the touching and I just was like your sidekick? Maybe. Did you see all the gooped up grease that was in here? There was like that much gooped up grease. All right, guys, we made the frosting. Oh, We're yes. pouring it across the top. Oh my gosh, sorry. Oh, my camera, my camera ship is bad today. Oh, that, dang, that thing is hot. Send it to me. I'll rebuild it. He'll build it with <laughs> Benford parts. Isn't that, isn't that what Tim the Toolman Taylor had? Benford parts. So watch out. It'll be overpowered. Remember how everything in Home Improvement was yes. overpowered? It'll be like that. All right. So that's that. And this is going into the fridge while we make the ganache. There's another step. There's one more step. But I'm going to need you to entertain the masses so I can run to the little streamers. Does the step require more mixing? Oh, remember when you asked if I needed a stove cam? Yeah. Yeah, you said, you said no, Dan. Not no, but like, hell no. <laughs> I did not. Um, I do need to uh, put the Baileys and heavy cream in a saucepan over medium high heat. So everybody in the chat, let me know what your favorite inside temperature is. Mine is uh, 60, uh, 69, 70. Mine's like 70. What about you? Uh, would that frosting be good on cinnamon rolls? If you're into the Bailey's flavor, absolutely. Yeah, but you you should probably just stick with, who said that? You, you should probably stick with traditional cinnamon rolls. Shut your rolls. mouth. If you like Bailey's flavor, go for it. It would add a good flavor to the bread. Steve sure. said 65. That's too cold. Oh, 65. That's when we have it at night when we're in bed with the electric blanket. Right. Hi, everybody. How are you? Look, it's just us, and we get to hang out for a few minutes. Oh, my gosh. What should we do? We, what should we do while Crystal's gone? I don't have anything to do. I have a bunch of Dan magnets. Is that... There's, like, a lot of my magnets on the fridge to, like, hold stuff up, or they're just there. Bed temperature is 62. I have a, an electric blanket, so I cook under that. I love it. 68 degrees, 72 degrees. Everybody that's back east has a lower temperature than us. Wash your hands. Okay, what did I do? We'll wash my hands. Why not? Look at that. Dances with kitties. Oh, uh, that one's asleep over here. Mooch is tired. Where's Topo? Topo? Topo's clicker trained, so I can click and he'll come. Topo, are you around here? I see Kumiko, but Kumiko's over there, like, just, like, she's facing the, like, um back of the couch and just mushing and like zoning out. I don't know why we don't think that's... F you licked your fingers. I lick my fingers all the time. Dan, Crystal wants a new mixer, so if you fix the old one, it'll break and she'll get a new mixer. That's a good one. Do you think she wants a new mixer? You know, this mixer's probably a decade old. So like, if Crystal wants a new mixer, she can have a new mixer. But like, I feel like this like, 
this is her mixer. Like, I feel like this is the mixer that she loves. Crystal, you want a new mixer? No. What if it was free? Like, oh, let's yeah. say you want, like, a mixer thing. Would you replace it? Yeah. Oh, so you're not, like, tied to this mixer? I absolutely enter contests for uh, mixers. You do enter contests for mixers all the time. Um, I don't know. I feel like this mixer works just fine. It's pretty warm with the three dogs on a double bed with a toy. Yeah, I get that. Like, oh, the, the cats snuggle up with us in the bed. And sometimes I'll, like, shove my foot underneath one of the cats, like Kamiko or something, just to keep my foot warm, you know? Um, it's like, uh, 52 degrees, but it's like a warm 52 degrees. Like, it's not, it's not cold. It's definitely not cold. I have my ceiling fan going year-round. Uh, Crystal does that too, because she sucks. And, like, so, like, I'll be sleeping, and then she has a ceiling fan on, and then, like, I wake up in the morning, and I'm uh, so dried out. I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, that is false. It's, like, it's, it's like the ghost of Christmas past made out with me. Ugh. Was he the hot one? Was that the hot ghost? Crystal, which one Which one was the hot ghost? So, like, she keeps the fan on and I die. My fan is on all the time no matter how cold. Alicia, come on. Come on. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to date somebody like that. Turn off your fan. You need a humidifier. I have a humidifier here. It's kind of small. One of the nicest things Jess and Jamie did is they turned on the humidifier for me so I wouldn't dry out when I was... When I was in Michigan, so that was very nice. I keep a fan blowing at me all night, all year round, and sometimes crack the window during the window. My poor husby, hubby freezes in the, in the winter. Uh, Shannon, like, aren't you all just dried out all the time? Uh, maybe you should drink some more water. What does water have to do with it? What does water have to do with the fan being on drying me out? I'm gonna need one of those dentist water things in my mouth all the time. You know, ah, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that or a little spritz. A little spritz. KK says I have two fans on no matter what, and I'm in Michigan. Why did you do that? I don't. I'm not staying on your couch. I heard you over here telling lies that I leave the fan on all year long. Dan, you is your fan on right now? Because you're not here. No, none of the fans are on, at all. You're these, telling lies. These people leave fans on all year long like a bunch of savages. <laughs> like a bunch of savages. like really though. Like how do you like live your life all day long knowing that the you air do that? circulation is nice? But I also wake up like feeling dried out so no i do not leave the fan on when it's cold all, uh, you're telling lies or you're i have to dutch lies. my own oven and i keep my Stop blankets it. up to here can you switch to this camera because sure. uh libby libby's cave libby yes. made salted caramel brownies Ooh, that sounds those good. sound amazing that sounds also good. i love your spoon rest it's adorable <gasps> spoon rest i do <laughs> like it as well Shit, you're what's wrong. what's what's in here what's in there this could be nightshade Probably salt. Probably My salt. guess is salt. Yes. But yeah, those look amazing. Good job. Um, I also want to show off something else that was that was made. Yeah. Not food, but I don't know if Foxy Koala is here. Probably not because she's been on vacation. I don't know oh, if she's back she's yet. Oh, she's in Hawaii. Aloha. So she had posted a digital drawing she was doing. Okay. And said she ditched it and painted last night. You guys, I had to zoom in on That's this because I'm like, she did not That's paint not a this. Painting. That's a painting. Ooh, there's a can. There's canvas. That's marks. That's a canvas. There's canvas marks there. She painted this, you guys. That looks awesome. Why I am I it. hosting paint night right. when you guys can paint like this? What are we doing? Right. What are you doing? <laughs> that's Cola. amazing. I don't think she's here, but that's amazing, and I wanted everybody to see. Maybe know. a drag painted it. <laughs> Perhaps. It could have been. Uh, Alex says, "I sleep with a fan year round too. I wear shorts in the winter too. I'm weird." Um. I wear why pants would, all year long. Why I, would you do that? Slacks I, to bed. <laughs> I do wear... Well, no, I wear shorts to bed. At, at home, I will wear shorts. In public, the only shorts I wear are below my knee. I do not wear short shorts. I am not proud of the whiteness of my legs, nor do I want skin cancer to... Uh, like, it's not worth it to, to tan to I know, me, milky so. white. Milky white. Uh, Amanda says, I have the frosting on and the ganache melting peanut butter chips. So you just made regular frosting, right? And you're doing peanut butter in your ganache? I like it. I like the twist. Uh, Ken says, hi, Crystal. Hello, Ken. Thank you for popping in. I don't know if you've been here the whole time, if you just got here, but we are making brownies. They're in the fridge right now. I'm kind of trying to stall because that liquid was, uh, that frosting was very liquidy. So I want to try to get it to set up in the fridge a little bit before I pour a hot ganache on top of it. Because I'm afraid it's just going to like goo right 
Uh, milky white is great. I concur. Oh I'm, my gosh. I'm perfectly happy with the whiteness of my skin, but in junior high I got made fun of one day when I wore shorts, so I don't wear shorts anymore. What do they call you? So my last name is Strawby, and nobody pronounces it right. And on my birthday in junior high, they announced my birthday... And said it was Crystal Strobe's like, birthday. Like, wait, whoa, whoa, How do they announce your birthday? Over the PA system? Like, Mr. In the Belding? morning when they do the morning announcements. And Ms. today, it's Crystal Strobe's birthday. I don't know how you get Strobe out of A-U-B-E. When you were sitting... Like, Strobe, I kind of get. When they said that, you were sitting at a desk in home I was sitting at a desk. Um, and what happened? Did you get made fun? Were your friends in the room with you? Was Terry there? No, I didn't know Terry till high school. Okay. Because I went to school in a different city... For junior high and elementary school, then so I went to for high school. You were sitting at your desk, and then immediately wads of paper were thrown at you. No, absolutely not. But the day that I wore shorts, which my mom told me I couldn't wear the shorts, so I put pants on over my shorts and was like, bye, I'm going to the bus stop. Oh, I did that too. And then took my pants off and shoved them in my backpack and was like, look at my cute purple shorts, and I'm so cute. And they came to like here, and everybody remembered that they called me Crystal Strobe on my birthday, and then it was uh, Crystal Strobe Light oh. for the rest of junior high. I also hid clothes in my, in, so I could go out after I left Were the you house. as traumatized as I was? I got caught. <laughs> I did not get caught. I, I just caught. got traumatized and never wore shorts. I got caught because I wanted to wear a Chicago White Sox starter like outfit with those like pinstripe shorts and the pinstripe button-up shirt, you know, so it looked like baseball. And, right. And like my mom, didn't, it was game game related, <laughs> right? Because you know we're from LA, so like it's game related. Yes, it is. So my friend let me borrow it. I wore clothes. I went and changed in first period. I went and changed in the bathroom, and then I wore it all day long. And it was like the coolest thing ever. Oh my gosh! You know I had my kid in play hair. He <laughs> did not. I had kid in play hair. I'll show you a picture of it in a minute. So then I get off the bus, the street. And I have my clothes on, and I get off the bus, and my mom was leaving for lunch to go back to work. And she, and saw she you? drove by me. It was just like TV. She drove by me like this. <laughs> right? And I'm just like, oh, hi, mom. And then I get home, and later she's like, what, what, what? What, what? Why'd you wear that? What, 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 what? <laughs> oh, yeah. She was. She went crazy on me. You were busted? I was busted because she drove by and saw me because she was coming back from lunch. Damn. Yeah. I know, right? Right? Is the MLB still in lockout? I, unfortunately, I know the answer to this question. No, they figured it out. They figured it out. Everybody gets paid billions. Yeah. I'll show you a picture of, uh, of, of my eighth grade here. All right. Let's have it, Dan. He's going into the vault. Okay, so I'm going to prepare this first. This is for the ganache, and it wants three quarters cup semi-sweet chocolate chips. Or you can do like Amanda and use peanut butter or any other variety that you would like. <laughs> Mooch popped up. He thinks this is snacks. Oh, no good. Three quarters cup, uh, unfortunately, mini chocolate chips. Uh, Brittany says, pale skin doesn't age. You look 21, Crystal. Thank you. My wrinkles around my eyes say otherwise, but I appreciate the compliment. Can I, I, can I do this? Do it, Dan. All right, so... There's me. Look out! Look at my hair was tall as oh, my geez. hair was tall as my hair was tall as. Why hair. does your face look like that? I don't know. Okay, look at I took <laughs> I took all the pictures for this yearbook. Every single like photo in the yearbook I took, except that one. That was someone that hated one. you took. Right, and there's a picture of me in my own yearbook that I took all the photos of, and they put my wrong last name in there. <laughs> they, right, right. But I took all the like. Oh, look, Marco like thinks he signed my yearbook too. Look oh, I thought picture. you were gonna have a picture of him. Uh, I do Focus. have a, I do have a, there, I do have a picture of him. I do. But anyway, so I took all the pictures of the yearbook and they still Kathy missed. Kathy says, tallest hair in school. I did. They still misspelled my name. Dale says, I did, however, grow up with the nickname of Casper. Yes, I got that as well. Did you? Mm-hmm. Oh, how original. Yeah, there were uh, redheaded jokes, last name jokes, and white skin and jokes. It didn't help that there was a new Casper movie. <laughs> Chris says, why does your face look like that? Um, that's my face. That's okay, my face. so last week I had, uh, this past week actually, uh, I ate salad for lunch many days. I was very good about this. Um, but one day I went in the bathroom and wanted to check and make sure I didn't have salad in my teeth. So I went in there and did this and Dan walked up behind me and said what you doing there practicing smiling and I was like yeah this is how you do it right <laughs> that's the face you're making there okay somebody says please explain yourself okay I'll, ex I'll explain myself I nice was at best a, I was at a school dance that happened after school everybody's dancing with other girls and I'm not did you dance with any girls at that I did dance? not I had a silk shirt on or like a rayon shirt I had a vest on like a silk rayon vest 
But, those were so popular. But, like silk and rayon were yes. so popular. And I got in, those like, Camarichis, those like really like baggy pants at the top. Um, but like they, these were more of the pictures that happened that night. But I'm not there. He was cool. Remard was cool too. He was cool. He liked comic books and he was cool. Everybody was cool but me. Oh, you have to explain the photo for Alec. Uh, he's blind. Um, it's me looking like I have hair that looks like an eraser on the top of my head. Yes, it's, it's, Dan does not have, like, curly hair at all. Dan's got the thinnest kind of, hair that just lays there, but with enough hairspray, he can get it to stand up. So his hair was a good two inches standing up. Your hair, when it's short, looks like it's just running away from your head. It does. Like, and, it just goes out well, and I'm, up. I'm trying to dress as Zach Morris back in the day. Yes, it was, it was, uh, like he said, the rayon shirt, uh, very loud colors. Even though it's black and white, you can tell there's loud colors going on, loud pattern. And a, a, a vest, because that was popular. I will say, when I went to my first school dance, also had a rayon button-up shirt. Yeah, that was popular. It was like right emerald green, I and I had a mall. velvet skirt. Like a, a short, tight velvet skirt. Oh, it was bad. I got it from the mall. Uh, Bud, who currently has no hair, says he had the same look in middle school. <laughs> I had a tie-dye shirt on. This was a green and black tie-dye shirt right here. There's me right up there. That's me. Uh, oh. That's where they misspelled my name. But like... Uh, can I, here, let me try to get the focus right. But yeah, so like, that's me in a bad, like, green and black tie-dye shirt. And there's Guillermo, he drew the cover of it. He was the homie. So yeah. This is what it was like in the late 90s, or early 90s, this was like 93. But uh, Chris me. says he had a purple rayon suit, he was a pimp. Yeah, see, yeah, <laughs> me too. Me too. Kathy says your hair grew straight up since birth. It is. Is that what it is? <laughs> now okay. that it's long enough, it's heavy enough to lay down, but I always said your hair just looks like it's running away from your head. Okay, so there's... Oh, that was your one good outfit? There's me right there. I guess so. You also wore it for school picture day. I wore it for school picture day, which could have been around the same... Okay, it probably wasn't around the same. Uh, Megan says I dyed my hair black in middle school, so I couldn't get made of for my red hair. Same friend, but it was uh, high school. Dang, okay. My mom was pissed. Was she mad? Alex says, oh, okay, I get it. I'm the same age as Dan, so I understand it. I'm a man and had a purple rayon button-up shirt in 1992. Yeah, we it. all had rayon button-up shirts. We, we were barely Male, trying female, to, did not matter. We were barely trying to leave the hammer pants era. Yes. Yes, and yeah. overalls, but you could only wear the overalls completely buttoned. You couldn't wear them popular with a belt. So, when, and, when I started junior high, the thing was striped shirts. Remember, everybody had striped shirts? Mm -hmm. Just, like, horizontal stripes. Yep. And big pants. Yes, it was just big. It was very much a TLC look. Yes, and I convinced my mom to take me to like J.C. Penney or Sears or something, and I got one outfit. I talked her into one outfit, and it was turquoise big pants. And I'm all torso. My legs are short, so I had to cut them off. So they were all ratty at the bottom. Were you sewing then? No, um, not until well in junior high I did take a sewing class, but I didn't own a sewing machine, so I wasn't doing any sewing at home. So big teal jeans. And a way oversized striped shirt that was red, teal, the same color teal, um, or like turquoise-ish, more, more blue than green. And so red, white, and turquoise striped shirt that came down like halfway down my thighs and was just oversized. Oh, it was so unflattering. Why was I wearing that? And then that was junior high when Easter happened. I told my mom, I want bodysuits. All the kids are wearing bodysuits now. And what, I would like Is that the one with the three snaps? In like where the, di where the diaper goes? Yes, in your crotch. Okay. Those are they, they made a comeback, by the way. That's like not comfortable? No. They could, <laughs> couldn't they have done the, the buttons like vertically? Uh, they could have done the buttons like more to the front or more to the, well, maybe more to the back wouldn't have been comfortable. But no, the buttons were right in the crotch. So I told my mom I wanted bodysuits. So for Easter, in my Easter basket, the Easter Bunny brought me two bodysuits. Okay. A red one and a green one. Well, that was nice of Peter Cottontail. Two bodysuits. Which I proceeded to wear to school when I had only worn oversized men's t-shirts up until then. Steve said your stuff sounds like a, a rave outfit. A little bit, but... Um, was it, that before your rave outfit years? was big pants, tiny shirt. This was big shirt, big pants. I, I have pictures of me in big pants, tiny shirts. There's plenty of those. So so you had body suits? I had body suits, and I wore them what to school. What year is this? 93-ish? So you're like 13. Yeah. Okay, right, okay. But I'd only worn baggy shirts and, like, band t-shirts from Hot Topic. I had, like, my Pearl Jam oh, shirt and my were, Nirvana shirt. I had to sneak those, too, because my mom wouldn't let me wear, like, even the one that just said Alive on it with the little oh, stick that was figure. that my favorite. I, I want she, that shirt I, again. I had it, and then she didn't like it. Oh. So I wore my bodysuit, and nobody had seen me in anything form-fitting. Right. And then they did, and uh, made fun of me, and said that I stuffed my bra, and then there was did a you? whole... Did you? I did not! 
Did you go through a time where you ever wore your clothes backwards, like crisscross? Never did. I tried wearing my pants backwards once. <laughs> I got to school. Dude, I feel like Stan from South Park. I got to school in junior high. I was stoked. I made my move, like, during home, like, during, like, homeroom. My homeroom teacher was awesome. She looked like Elizabeth Shue from Don't Tell Mom. No, wait, from uh, Adventures in Babysitting. Right. Total, like, she was super cool to me. So I went and snuck in the bathroom, and I tried to pull my pants on backwards and stuff. I didn't make it out the bathroom. <laughs> you can't do it. You can't buckle you can't do it. <laughs> Who's the idiot that thought that that was good? You can't do it. But I, tr- I, I tried. I, I, I really tried to get out of the bathroom with my pants uh, with, my, with my pants backwards. I tried as hard as I could. That's terrible, Dan. Yeah. You should never tell that story again. We also talked. We talked before too how I had my initials carved in the back of my yes. my, my my head. So I did it. Uh, Linda says, Crystal, I hope you'll still be on even when Dan is out of town. Unfortunately, I will not. Um, as much as we make fun of Dan for all his screw ups, Dan is the brains behind all of this. Well, let's let's say that you could actually like turn it on. No, and get if going. you get to be on vacation, I get to be on vacation. Yeah, it'll be some downtime, but there won't yeah. be no downtime for me. Like you'll see all the things that I I do. Yeah, I, on, I will be taking the the days that going he's on vacation gone. is uh, uh, is, is still taxing. Like I still have to be me. And travel and do the things, and it's not like a party. It's more real life for us than it is for you. Does that make sense? What? Uh, more real life? Yeah. Like so, like I'll get on a plane like throughout the night, and then I'll go hang out with Jess, and that'll be fun. And I'll still like uh, document all that, but Crystal gets to chill, yes. which is good. I have stuff I need to get done. But... Right. Right, but Crystal will get to stay here and hang I out for I will not the week. be live streaming by myself. I'm a little. It does kind of suck a little bit to leave though, like for a whole week. Like now that like I'm home and I've done this for a few years, like I'm rooted here. Like this is like my station. But I need to get the heck out of the house. Yes, I need to, really bad. So it'll be fun, but no, you'll take just the whole week off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be live streaming the day before you leave, and then not again until the Friday after you're back. Right. Right, right. So it'll be a little bit of time off, which kind of hurts a little bit, but at the same time, like, it's needed, and we'll make fun content. Oh my gosh. Like, yes. I had so much fun going out there last time. Uh, apparently, I'm showing up during mud season, so that's going to be a thing. It's going to look fun. like a bad Smashing Pumpkins video, just s- s- sliding <laughs> around in the mud. Awesome. Which they made out here. Remember that Ratney Cage uh, video? They, they took uh, auditions out here for people to go slide around in the mud from out here. Huh. Uh, Alex says, oh, lots of bodysuits in junior high. Yeah, they were the jam, and they've made a comeback. Uh, my friend Terry owns no less than a dozen different bodysuits. I could not do it these right. days. Right. Um, Christine says, I had a Dan Skin leotard with no snaps. I had to take it off entirely just to pee. Oh, that's awful. That must that's have what, When I see these people with these... these what's, um, what's that consist of? Toes all the way up to neck? Like a body... Like that? No, uh, leotard... No, that would still be like... Waist down. Like, like this. Okay. Like underwear shape, okay, and then also up. I don't uh, know whether she oh, had tank top, short oh, sleeves, or long oh, sleeves. Oh. Um, but that's what I think all the time when people wear these uh, jumpers or whatever, these like full body suit things. Like, what happens when you have to pee? Like you in just public, do it on the dehyd- dehydration day, <laughs> right? Where you just drop all your clothes to the ground in right. the bathroom. Ooh, not a fan. Not a fan. Uh, Foxy Koala. Oh, you are here, Foxy Koala. I was complimenting your painting earlier. I don't know if you were here for that. I didn't see it pop up in the mm-hmm. chat. Um, says, I wouldn't know. I had to wear a uniform at school. <sighs> Part of me wishes I could have worn a uniform because then, like, there, there's no thinking. To I it. did during ninth grade. Um, I When I was in private school for those six months before they gave me the boot, mm-hmm. um, I did have, like, uh, Bethel Christian uh, polo shirts. I, I had a couple polo shirts. Right. And then, like, you know, if we were good on Friday, we could have free dress day, which consisted of wearing only college-themed sports stuff. Which <laughs> so it's not really free they dress. Stole, they took my Pittsburgh Penguins jacket away. They stopped me in the hall and took it off my back because they saw a penguin holding the hockey stick back. was game-related. All right, let's get um, to this. So um, I wore the suits, and it still sucked to wear the same thing every day. It, I, when I worked at the gas station just, for a couple years, I had to wear a so uniform. Quick. And it was so nice to just not have to think about it. I had, like, three different pairs of pants I would wear and my button-up shirt. The only thing I didn't like is they made us wear this weird scarfy thing. The guys had to wear tights, ties, and the girls had to wear this weird scarfy thing that, like, looped together I like I remember this. that. You look like a dog. Oh, I hated it. That right. was the worst part. So what are we going to now? Okay, we are going to make the Bailey's ganache. So we're going to take a half a cup of the Irish cream. Are you done with this? Yes. Let's move it back a little bit. 
So if you thought there was a lot of Irish cream in that frosting, we're going with more. Sorry that Johnny Five's on the screen here, but here's your co-host. We're going over to the stove anyway. Are we going to the stove? Oh, I can take you to the stove. I got this. And then our two tablespoons of heavy cream that's been sitting here since we made alcohol drinks. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, those were good. I'll take us over to our like not so clean stove. Okay, just and wanted to make sure I measured that right. Two tablespoons of that. Who's having a good time tonight? Who's happy tonight? Let me know in the chat. We're all the happy people. There's 90 people still here. Wow. And we're getting late. It's it's after 11 o'clock East Coast time. It is. I so. saw Steve said he was going to bed. What? Really? Him? I, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> really? I can't ever tell when he's on nights or days. Johnny Five Alive. Yes. Oh, that was such a good movie. If you want a new update to Short Circuit, um, Chappie was such a good movie. Uh, Megan says me, Alicia says me, Hannah says, Hannah's having a good time. Good. Chris is so happy he has pants on, Brittany's happy, Alicia says this has been fun, Amanda says her brownies are sitting in the fridge getting cold, are they having a good time? Okay, so we are going to, our chocolate chips are in a bowl, we've got our Baileys and heavy cream in a saucepan, we're going to put this over medium high heat and bring just to a boil and then immediately pour it over the chocolate chips and let it sit for five minutes without stirring. The air and bubble to fries. That'd be, a, that'd be a rad place to work out. I would have worked there before they all went under. Oh, I think Fry's is a grocery store in some places. Oh, is, is it? grocery store or the, the like, cool tech place? technology store? It's too far away. Everything's blurry. <laughs> uh, Kathy says, great times. I think it's neat. Like, I love everybody who joins us for our things. I love that your family joins and watches. Like, we don't get to see a lot of your family very often. No. This is the thing that I got get the most approval on. Yeah. Yep. Forget what, like all the cool stuff I did at NASA. It's like, oh, it's like you make <laughs> right. videos on the internet. You're entertaining. That's way better. Aha! That's it. I'm letting go. I'm letting go. Okay, go over there and read some chat. Um. So the electronic store. Oh, awesome. Ours out here were so cool. Yes. Our fries were. Our fries were really cool. So we just want to bring this just to a boil. Brittany says it makes work better watching and listening to the live. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we can make your work, Thanks, work night a little bit better. I know, right? Crystal, what are we doing for dinner tonight? After this, I'm going to need food. Um, I'm going to pull out the air fryer and throw a uh, veggie chicken patty in it and make oh. some fries. Wow, you already had this planned out? Yeah, remember last night I wanted one, but I was like, no, I should have it tomorrow because it's like a 10 oh, minute right. cook time. You're so smart. I didn't plan ahead, but can I get on, on you that? You never do. Can I get in on that? You absolutely can. All right, so that was quick. This is a... Uh... Uh, Dale says, uh, totally impressed by the fact that you guys have a gas stove, not electric. Give me a gas stove every time. Same. I've cooked on an electric stove once. Uh, an old boyfriend had one, and I did not like it. Uh, there's a fry in the Bay Area, Bay Area. We had a nice one in Burbank that was awesome, but I think those are all gone now. Okay, so we are boiling. That was really quick. Where are you going? I'm going to dump this over my mini chocolate chips. I am done with the stove. Oh, no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Okay, it says to pour this over the chips. Okay. And leave it for five minutes. Oh, okay. That's easy enough. It is. And then we want to whisk it when we're done. Whew. I'm starting to fade because I drink that alcohol. Oh, and yeah? then, like when the alcohol okay. wears off, I get tired. No, you're not. It's, yeah. it's Friday night. And the feeling's right. Remember? <laughs> Is that how that song goes? I don't know. What are you doing? Trying to get this like not to tip over so I can come back to it later. Setting up for the next scene. Uh, Megan says, <laughs> wait, first, uh, Hannah is floating, LOL. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Enjoy. 
Uh, Megan says, I need help with this idea. So I'm wanting to do Thankful Thursdays. And it's about what you say you're thankful for in your daily life. So should I do that for a vlog? Absolutely. Um, do a call to action in your vlog and ask people to post in the comments what they are thankful for. Then you get some interaction and get people more involved in what you're doing. The more you Would know. You concur? Blum, 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 blum. Yeah. Do you have input? Yep, that was good. That was perfect. Thanks. Good job, Crystal. Uh, Amanda says, I try to take AJ to go clothes shopping, but he really does not care at all. Chris hates shopping as well, so I end up shopping for AJ. Plus, he also wears school uniforms as well. Blake never had to wear uniforms, but Blake has never cared. Um, he said he was talking to his friends, and he showed them his closet, and they're like, dude, you only own, like, black and gray and blue shirts, and that's it. Blake has never been one for logos. Anytime you see him with a shirt with a logo on it, it's because somebody bought it for him. Usually a grandparent. Um... When he asks for clothes, he's like, can I just have plain t-shirts? Just nothing, nothing printed on it. Uh, plain, boring. He's, he's not trying to like support any brand or any sort of anything. It cracks me up. Uh, Megan says, thanks for the help, Crystal. I try. Uh, Amanda agrees as well. Yeah, this is, oh, believe me, I'm enjoying. Brittany with the super chat with the fighting Enu. Mm, 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 mm. Thank oh. you, Brittany. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good night at work. Wow, you just had a little drink, too. That was a, there's three kinds of alcohol in it. Yeah, go. What do you want? Go you. Uh, Alicia was also um, always required to wear uniforms with logos, unless it was a special day. The special days were hard. They would like we'd have a fire drill, and if everybody shut up and lined up quickly, then like, oh, next Friday you have free dress day. And then I wore the Nirvana shirt to school, and they took it away from me. <laughs> Not that free. Just sort of free. Yep. Hope this works with these uh, mini chocolate chips. Uh oh. I think so. We'll see. I'm okay with it. We'll find out. I think so. I think it'll be okay. Uh, FF says my dad didn't like logo shirts either. My dad just like, dressed like Ned Flanders. I love shirts with logos. Like, let me express who I am via my t-shirt. That's that's who I am. Okay. Not Blake. <laughs> Not at all. Wore... He likes his SpaceX shirts. He's really down for his SpaceX shirts. Those are the one logo he will ask for. He's okay with uh, NASA. I wore my hockey jersey to school like three times a week. Did you? Because you had hockey, hockey after? Team. I just loved cool. it. Oh. And it'd be so baggy, and I would just... When I had my big, like, long hair that was here, and it would just flop around, and then I would <laughs> wear my hockey jersey. Yeah? Yeah, that was my jam. I was all about band t-shirts and, and sassy sayings. And, and I'm that person who can't find what I want. Like, I get in my head what I want, but it does not exist. So I would just buy plain white t-shirts and sharpie them up and write things on them. I think oh, yeah? I still have some of my old sharpie yeah, t-shirts. Yeah, you would just write on them? Um, absolutely. Um, I used to like this band. Somebody I knew introduced me to this band called Chainsaw Kittens. And they have this really cool logo with, like, probably like a dozen. That's edgy sounding. A little bit. Um. A dozen little kitten paws coming off of it, and I mm -hmm. loved it, but Chainsaw Kittens didn't have a, like, line of merch, so I got a white t-shirt, and I drew the Chainsaw Kittens logo on it, and I wore that. F Vance says, where do you get SpaceX shirts? Uh, from SpaceX. Go online and search, what is their website? Just, like, SpaceX.com? I don't know. I'm sure they own that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, just from their website. They are not cheap, but they are good quality shirts. They're nice and soft. They fit well. Uh, band t-shirts and sassy sayings. No, not Crystal. It's literally still all I own. Literally. <laughs> Amanda says, I have a SpaceX sweatshirt and t-shirt. So does Blake. He's got like three t-shirts and the sweatshirt. He's all about it. All right, we got five seconds and we can stir this up and see if mini chocolate chips work. Yeah. Is this where I know if I'm in trouble or not? Mm -hmm. If you ruined the dessert for my mom's birthday. Whisk until smooth. All right, you're not in trouble this time, Dan. I live again? Yeah, I guess so. All right, All that right. calls for a celebration. It's very ganache. Smooth. I'm trying to see if there's any unmelted chocolate chips left in there, but I think we're good. It smells like Bailey's. Okay. Would you like to taste it? 
Okay. Wait, I don't have this finger. Hey, that was my drip. <laughs> Ow. Ow, <laughs> did you guys hear that? That was my tooth. No, oh, oops. <laughs> you, got, you got a little something. <laughs> that tastes really good. That is really good. All right, so our frosting did set. Okay. Yeah. You can see here it's not. Oh no, you can't see here because Dan clicked off of the thing. Um, it's not liquidy anymore. It is definitely set. What do you do? What happens now? We spread this over the top of it. Uh -huh. And then we let it sit at room temperature for 30 minutes and refrigerate until set. So you cannot have this tonight. Brandy's my hero. Uh, mini cho chocolate chips would be better because the recipe, this recipe as it will melt easier. Thank you. I guess so this time. You're welcome, Crystal. You're, I'm, I need producer credits. Nah. Well, so the good. channel's named after you. What more do you want? I birthed it. I birthed it. And I've raised it. <laughs> okay, fair. Kind of like your child. <laughs> Megan says, I broke my tooth because of a popcorn kernel. You got oh, some no. bullshit Kentucky teeth. <laughs> oh, that was so rude. No, that Take was... it back and apologize. I take it back and apologize. But for real, why your teeth be breaking? It's okay. One time I why broke your... a tooth on some ice cream. What? Like, not even crunchy ice cream. Like, I was just slurping some ice cream and my tooth was rotten and it fell apart in my mouth. I ripped out mine on a now and later. Like a grown up tooth? I, no, I was a kid, but like that I doesn't was, count. I was still like ten. Like I remember Megan, I squished down and bit a now and later and I heard it go mm, <laughs> and it just sucked out one of my teeth and I was sad. Did it make that slurping noise? It did. Yeah. Oh, to this day I remember it. So been there. I've been there. Uh she doesn't subscribe. <laughs> yeah. I still love you, Megan. Alicia says, I live really close to the SpaceX stuff. Yeah, in Texas by Boku Chiku. How's that going, Crystal? It's going well. I'm just trying to spread it into an even layer. I think that worked pretty well. I'm really excited for this. All, all the components worked out really well. But we can't do anything with it until tomorrow. <laughs> And I know oh. how much you hate those kinds of recipes, which is why I made you a drink. Well, that sucks. But it looks really good. It so does what? look really well. I'm really happy with how the components came out. That frosting set up better than I anticipated because it seems so liquidy. It looks good. The ganache looks ganache-y. Okay. I'm ready to ganache it. Okay, so I'm going to set a 30-minute timer so I know when I can put this in the fridge. Mm-hmm. Until then, it needs to sit? Yep. It sits till room temperature, so that is it. Whoa, watch out, Dan. Uh, Sally says, that looks delicious. I really hope it is. So we have... I think so. An answer in the chat episode of Dantex tomorrow, correct? Uh, yes, that we that we do. Uh... <laughs> Thank you to our members. Oh, wait, uh, uh, oh, 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 there buttons. you go. Yes. Tomorrow at 6 p.m., we will be doing an... Answer in the chat version of Dantix. So make sure you show up for that. And at some point, we will cut a square of our Bailey's Irish yes. Cream Brownies, and we will try it out. They have to refrigerate. Um, once this sets for 30 minutes, it'll go in the fridge, and we probably won't touch it until we do the show at 6. And then the rest of them will go to my mom. Oh, I'm so excited. Your mom can't eat all of them. You have to at least leave a piece I'll tell her it was the rest of them. Okay. But it won't. Beautiful. Yes. I think that's beautiful. Absolutely. So yeah, you guys, if you are not busy and out partying tomorrow night, because I know the weather's starting to get a lot yeah, a little it's better time for in some, some places. I love it. And I think people are allowed to go out and do things now. All right, so let's go. Amanda says, oops, I put it straight in the fridge. I will check it out. I'm sure it'll be fine. Don't yeah, worry about it'll it. It'll be good. Um Yes, so join us tomorrow night. The answer in the chat versions of Dantix are a lot of fun. They are. Much more participation. Please tell your friends. If you guys have friends that you know are not doing anything, real life friends, internet friends, does not matter. Uh -huh. Tell them to check out this trivia show and see if they can get their name on the board. Exactly. Last night's show, we were like nine away from 4,000. Ooh, yay. Help us get to 4,000 subscribers, a you mile, guys. A milestone. Mi mile. 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 It's, like, it's like mild. It's not hot. 
Uh, can we get one last kitty cat picture of one of them before you sign off for the night? I'll do you one better than that. What do you, what do you, get on. back to this camera. All right, all right. What you got? Oh, he's doing nothing. He's not doing anything. <sighs> There's a mooch. Lazy as ever. Let me see. Don't mind the messy house. Uh, the red. There's a Kumiko, but uh, move out of the way, Dan. I'm trying. I'm trying. There's Kumiko sleeping on the couch. Kitty's down the hallway, over there. Uh, uh, uh. How far can I go? Uh, keep going. I can't see good. the camera. Can you move your big head? Right there. You're perfect. There's Kitty and Rizzo sleeping on the bed. Kitty likes to snuggle with her food bowl, even when it's empty. Right. And Topo is probably in the bedroom. I know how to get him out, though. You can't get Topo out. Uh-huh. Oh, as soon as you do that, all the cats are going to start freaking out. Let's do this one. Kamiko's got a big black spot up over there. We've got some snacks from Chris and Amanda. Who wants snacks? Can you put it on Mooch? No? <laughs> That'll wake you up. Hi, buddy. Want a cookie? Heck yeah, I want a cookie. Oh, you dropped it on your own butt. Hey, you gonna catch it for me? He just woke up. He was in a dead sleep. Crystal, he was just sleeping. Crystal. Would you like this? <laughs> he is a little groggy looking. Oh, you didn't look. Oh, he's all grogged out. He's all groggy. I'm gonna go bring something, Kitty. Be All right, you wanna try? Look alive, Topo. Oh, he's still like tired. Yes. You gonna catch it? Oh, you tried. You missed. Which isn't so good at catching snacks anymore these days. Although he's the only one of our cats who is able to figure out the little weeble wobble toy that you fill with cat treats, and the cats are supposed to smack it to knock the treats out of it. Mooch is the only one that can figure that out. You catch it? Oh, you scared him. <laughs> Where's, Where's the kitty at? Is she out here? She's on the bed. I put snacks in there for her. Okay, you gonna catch this one? Oh, so close. Get it, Mooch. We're worried about Rizzo. Where is Rizzo? She's in the doorway there getting her snacks. Topes. Alright, can we get a camera on Topo to see if he can catch this one? Put it down and don't move it because you scared him last time. Oh, he caught it and then he dropped it. Uh, there's a launch on Sunday. Uh, F. Vamp Dan says, do you know that the camera is behind the chat when one watches on a TV? Side camera? Yeah, because I think on some of the TVs, the chat is 
It goes up and down over there. here. Yeah, uh, so I could try to flip the cameras around. That feels stuffy. Uh, but I could. But that's the only part that sucks about watching on TV. It just goes right up over that. Yeah. Yeah. Dan will have to work on that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching tonight. We had a lot of you here tonight. I appreciate it all. If you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that thumbs up on the way out. It helps with the algorithms and the things that none of us really understand. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you to all of our members. Can we get them up on the screen one more time, Dan, oh, even though it'll be behind the chat for those watching on TV? Hey, wait, I can move it. Watch this. Ooh. Thank you. Uh, we will update that for those of you who joined today. We try to update that every Saturday before we go live on Dantix. So again, thank you every single one of you for being a member, for your super chats, and just for showing up tonight. We appreciate yeah, it. We love so hanging much. out with you guys. You guys are always a lot of fun. Lot and of fun. we love all of you. Mm -hmm. We will see you tomorrow night for Answer in the Chat Dantix. Yes. See if you can test your trivia knowledge and get your name on board. Ooh, that'll be a lot of fun. And what kind of crazy scenarios we'll draw Dan into. I will be there. I hope so. Maybe you'll drive me into a door. It's not in a, crystal ticks. In a wheel. Maybe. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.